I don't remember what we were doing. All right, well, that's why I recap for you every single time. So let's recap. <laughs> so you set out at night in search of missing twin girls who were last seen playing near Lance Rock. You were able to follow the girls' tracks to a cave set into the hillside. You made your way inside and were assailed by zombies and skeletons in the opening chambers. Some of you were then charmed by bizarrely dressed zombies doing strange macabre dance. You pressed on, found the twins. Unfortunately, one had already been killed and transformed into an undead creature. You were able to save the second girl and defeated Orioth, the self-proclaimed Lance, her Lord of Lance Rock. Uh, tired and beaten up, you made it back to Red Larch just as the pink sky of morning began to show. You delivered the news to the sur- of the, and the surviving daughter to the mother and finally were able to rest. Midsummer begins today, but it'll have to wait while you get some sleep. Bandwin, Barrick, and Jasper. You fidget res- restlessly in your sleep. You all have visions of unnamed towns in the Destron Valley. Folks going about their days without care. The sky darkens a little too quickly for a storm cloud and a terrible wind seems to blow from every direction. The ground begins to rumble. Some less sound structures begin to be torn apart. A torrential rain with marble-sized hail plummets the vi- pummels the village. The rain stops as quickly as it began and the sky grows even darker. Bright streaks of fire descend from the sky and get caught up with the wind. A vortex of flames spreads from the center of town and engulfs the entire town. You see the outline of a figure in the center of the vortex. As the fire spreads from the center, you get a clear view of a female tiefling, black hair, partially up in a high ponytail, with horns emerging from her brow, sweeping back on either side of her head. She peers at you with glowing red eyes and grins. The grin stretches wide and turns into a horrible laugh that drowns out the howling vortex of fire. You each wake with a start, your your bedclothes soaked through. The others have already stirred and they all turn their heads as you gasp awake. And (laughs) Jasper has a tiefling fetish, I see. Um, So you all wake up. You are back. Uh, Harburks, you're in the um, your quarters slash stalls, and uh, it's probably uh, maybe approaching noon, and you you, you already hear uh, festival goers outside. You can smell cooked meats and uh, people making last minute preparations and uh, already enjoying what is midsummer. What's breakfast? I could eat. I, ben went, I, ben, I, I could ben, eat. Ben was still a little mopey from the the horrible night that we had of unable to being uh the, the just along with that dream also saw the uh, undead little girl uh in his dreams a lot in his nightmares it was I bet yeah. Funny. I'll check outside and then eat breakfast. Okay. Look yeah. at the sky. Make sure everything's. Head over to the uh, the the water trough and splash water. Up okay. On myself and get cleaned up. And you find you find body in the water trough taking a bath. You <laughs> didn't. You didn't. You didn't. You didn't, didn't pee in it, did you? Oh uh, no, no. But uh, <sighs> yeah, yeah. Maybe may, maybe I tooted a bit. That's fine. And I just kind of go off to the end that he's not at. He only takes up a small part of it, so. And splash water on myself. As long as you didn't pee in it, I'm all good. Okay. Ah. Next time, next time we'll pour you a bucket or something so you don't have to actually go in the, the trough. I mean, oh, the... That, that would be most helpful. Thank you, lad. Okay, so you're able to. Get he's he's in, in there, there like a lap pool and he's like doing laps. <laughs> Uh, you see people setting up and, and it's really be starting to begin in earnest. It usually starts around noon and then goes on, you know, after sunset. So you see, is, mm-hmm. is there, um, 
Uh, now, where we're staying, is that connected to, like, the sheriff's office? Right, exactly. Okay, is anybody... Buildings. Sheriff Sledge Pusher. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, can I go and see if the sheriff or... The, yeah, basically, if the sheriff's there. Yeah, he's there, and he's helping his wife, and they're 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 carving up meats and making last minute preparations. Very busy, but he's there. So I want to ask him if he needs us. You know, do you need us to help with anything festive wise, or to keep an eye on any certain people? Do you need us around today? Uh, no, enjoy yourselves. And he's uh, he's busy chopping meats. Just try to stay out of the way. <laughs> Understood. Well, okay, thanks. Yeah, you don't want to get your meat chopped. Huh. Owen, thank you, boys. He stops for just a sec. And then gets Nod. back to work. Oh. All right. Um, so I let the group know that basically, you know, we there's no Free there's range. no tasks or anything he needs us to do. All right. Exactly. So you've got free reign, so you can check out other parts of town, and there are also merchants selling ale, smoked meats. Uh, there are a couple of vendors smelling, selling different things like uh, snake oil. Uh, one, one says uh, invulnerability potions. Uh, another one says libido potions. All sorts of things. What's a, what's a libido potion? That stuff you see at the gas station. It's got the lion on the cover. <laughs> Green what's tiger. A, what's a gas? <laughs> what's a gas station? Uh, what would that be called in D and D? Oh, is he is is Bandwin asking the merchant this? No, I'm asking you. The general store. Who are you asking? I'm asking Fen. I'm like, what's 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 that mean? Oh, you're actually no, asking it, what libido is. Okay. No, it means uh, basically it keeps you. Uh, keeps you hard down below <laughs> is it like armor <laughs> in a way in a way my friend but uh i i go oh, to the i should get a couple of those well let's hold off i i believe it's uh it's uh let's say false in its advertisement oh um i, I want to we should confront this guy well just leave it for now but i want to go to the guy who's selling the invulnerability and I, I want to I wanna ask him, so are, uh, are these uh, magical health potions or what? Are what these are libido these? potions for the whole body this time? They work. Yes, they're magical. Keeps mm. you safe. And you look at him, he has an eye patch, and uh, he's missing half of his right arm, and his sleeve is pinned up <laughs> to, his, to his shirt. Scars Obviously. everywhere. I mean... Yes, uh, I. The problem, and he sees you looking at that. He's the problem is, it, the protection is extremely brief. <laughs> <laughs> right. So you need to buy many of them. Uh, precisely. Mm-hmm. Well, well maybe next time. We're well, still only looking. ten gold. Yes. Oh, ooh, ouch. How um, brief? Hmm? How I brief? think my friends. Oh, sorry. Good. I'm just wondering how brief the the protection is. He looks down at his arm <laughs> and looks up at the sky. Mm. I look up at the sky, see what he's looking at real quick. Uh, just... A minute or so. No. Oh. Hmm. Phil Dane seems pretty hungry, but he's carrying an old dusty book, and he's going to find a place to grab some food and go concentrate on his book. He seems a little okay. highly yeah. interested in getting to reading something. Okay. So um, uh, good sir. I, I think I think I'll take one of those potions of invulnerability. That seems like a good idea. Okay. I only have nine gold. So mark off ten gold and then uh, write down fake invulnerability potion on your sheet. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm gonna just take a bit out of the group loot, I guess. Yeah. Oh sure. Waste our money on crap. Good job. <laughs> and there's a guy next to it said, Lucky rabbit's feet. Lucky rabbit's feet. Wasn't too lucky for the rabbit. He had four <laughs> of them. Hopefully. Oh, his luck is now your luck. Hmm. Yeah. One gold. All bad. Um, looking around at the festival, you know, what kind of 
I guess what kind of people are attending this time? You know, I know the other night day it was kind of very Mardi Gras crowd. Is that continuing? Yeah, same thing. Okay. So people from all walks of life, uh, but they're all in a good mood. It's it's a it's a it's a happy day. It's midsummer. The, the, the you know the fields are overflowing. Everyone's eating high on the hog. So does anyone would... need weapons or anything? I'm assuming that that probably won't be busy uh, during a festival. No, but these sausages on a stick look good. Mm-hmm. I okay. uh, purchased from a stand. Mm-hmm. Uh, what do you think, Gary? Silver a piece? Yeah, I think that's fair. If you want to mark off some silver, yep, a silver for. I grab them. Skewers. Yeah, offer one to Fen. You want one? Uh, so no, I'm no, good. No, Thanks, though. So. No lucky rabbit's feet. Like I said, it uh, two hey, for uh, one gold. I'm buying. I'm buying two lucky rabbit's feet. Okay. I'm going to reconstruct one for, it. One for each hand. Well, he said two for one gold. I mean, come on. How can you go wrong? All right. You want uh, a sausage? Roll mm-hmm. a, uh, Jason, roll a D20, a 2D20, please. Oh, okay. You got the, the unlucky rabbit's foot. Ooh. Two and 19. <laughs> okay. So, um, each other out. just put a star next to one rabbit's foot. Okay. Guess I can just make. Two different slots for rabbit's feet. God, <laughs> that's that's the one that has the bugs in it. <laughs> Ooh, I guess we'll see. <clears throat> what is it? What is this? Gelker says we walk by number seventeen. Oh, okay. Uh, do you go down that? Where is it? Okay, just kind of wander it's around over town. here. Sure. Yeah, yeah, we're like wandering around, enjoying the festivities, yeah. and I'm like. Just like, what the hell is this place? Okay. Yeah, so, Gale Curves. Um, so, it's a, a used tools and goods shops. It's also, uh, you, you notice, and so you poke your head inside, and it's, a, it's also a barber shop. And um, you see a lot of the local people in there, and they're getting their hair cut. Some of them are getting their hair cut, maybe a couple. And it's, you know, it's cluttered, full of just lounging men, no hurry to be waited on, just uh, basically just gossiping. Oh, it's like the salon. Yeah. I- I'd like to, I'd like to sit for a few minutes to just hear if I, see if I hear anything. I'm, gossip I'm going to uh, get in line for a haircut. Okay. I think it's time. All right. I need to be, I, you know, I'm, I, it's, I'm sort of military-esque and I really want to keep my hair Okay. High so, and tight. All right. So Gilker finishes uh, up with the customer, and he, he nods at him, gives him a wink, and walks out seemingly without paying. And uh, he dusts off the seat, whoosh, whips, you know, uh, dusts off the uh, little apron deal, and have a seat. Hey. We're out of town, aren't we? Yeah, we're here for the festival. Excellent. Excellent. And to find evil as I raise an eyebrow like like the rock interesting and as as you say evil he pulls the uh, apron and snugs it around your neck at first a little too tight and then he loosens it up evil you say very scary and the men in the the barber shop kind of laugh what evil friend oh well we killed a bunch of undead out of ta- outside town or last night Ooh, ghosts. And they laugh no. again. They were zombies and skeletons. Apparently there was a necromancer. Mm. And he kind of gives them a look like, like he doesn't believe what you're saying. And he starts uh, snipping your hair. So, so how do you like it? High and tight, please. Very well. And he whips out a straight razor. Strops it against the leather. Very warm water on your face. Be careful, don't move. And he holds a straight razor to your throat. Mm hmm. Carefully gives you a shave. Trims up below your ears. Gives you a nice high inside haircut. Excellent, my man. Yes. Well, we wouldn't want to fight evil with shaggy hair, now would we, boys? And they all, oh, they all right. laugh at him again. Evils, evils. 
dirty. I prefer to be clean. Larman here says he found some freshly dug graves outside of the Sumber Hills. Mm, and they all laugh at him and, you know, like throw pieces of paper at him, making fun of him. And he blushes. He's like, I saw it. It's true. Yeah, it was probably the necromancer digging up bodies to use as uh, zombies and such. <laughs> Maybe. Wait, what What did you see, if I can ask? Several graves. Freshly dug. Oh. Well, maybe we'll take a look. Too many for it to be a coincidence. Just mm-hmm. and they all just and the rest wh- of them which way out of town is that? Uh, and he points the direction. Let me. I think it's southeast. Let me double check. Sure. Uh, how much do I owe you for the cut, sir? Uh, whatever you like. How about just a couple of coppers? I appreciate it. you were very amusing to sit to sit for me. I give him two silver. Okay. Very generous, thank you. And he points out basically east, southeast. Yep. And I'm like bending over, rubbing my face, and shaking, and rubbing my hair. It's like, look at, I don't even have any extra hair on me. You cleaned off really good. But thank you so much for your uh, diligence. I haven't a haircut like that since the big city. <laughs> my pleasure. I hope to see you again, sir. Oh, hey. Probably, probably in a week or two. By the way, do you do any head polishing? Hmm. Huh. <laughs> they all laugh. Oh, did you ever hear that? Did you ever hear that, min- <laughs> that uh, famous How that famous she? minstrel Teddy Telly Lavalas? Yes. No, that's his brother. So he rubs. He loves some like I don't know some kind of nut oil on your head and shaves it nice and clean, and then takes the towel and. He looks over his shoulder and kind of shrugs, and then just like a bowling ball, <laughs> just kind of buffs it to a nice shine. I asked the guy, what are you using a razor for? I don't have any hair. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> There's little stubbles, <laughs> unless these are scabs. <laughs> I would think those are scabs. Oh, God. Uh, sorry. Look at the gifts. <laughs> there you go, just like that. All right. Um, anything else with Mr. Gilker? No. So while we're here, do we hear any rumors while they were talking and bullshitting and shit? No, or they just quiet the, up more uh, though while we're here. Just the freshly dug graves rumor and to the southeast. But they are right. they are a little they were laughing and stuff, and you notice that you know they they definitely kind of buttoned up a little bit when you when you came in, not being local yeah. and all. Mm-hmm. Understood. What is, um, I guess, number 12? Fine stones? <laughs> or, I'm sorry, uh, yeah, fine stone? Uh, Dornan? Uh, Dornan? Probably jewelers. Oh, is it a jewel- jeweler? That's what I was guessing it would be. You can walk in <laughs> if you guys wanted to. Going yeah, I'd like to. Look. I'd okay. like to go in. And take a we look. We kick in a door, a doorless storm, and go surrender. No, just kidding. <laughs> uh, so it's a plain square building. Um, it's coated in rock dust. When you walk in, you, you look at the counter, and it's just like constantly dusty. You wipe it off, and it just like refills with dust. You get you get a little cough. You can feel it in the air, and uh, it's 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 a business <laughs> office of the quarry behind it. And you see, oh, you we see, li- we live near the quarry. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's right near there. Um, but they're bringing stuff in and out, and you see stone samples, uh, different sorts of stone uh, inside there, and a bunch of paperwork. And um, uh, so you see uh, a, a man come out of the one of the back rooms and looks you up and down, and. Uh, you, you looky loos, or you needing some stone? Oh, I think uh, I think we're just looky loos. We're just looking around mm-hmm. while the festival's going on. <laughs> we're in, intrigued of what, what was going on, and, and and we were just wondering what this place was, and we just stopped by. And he looks at you uh, just sort of like with a, a stern look. Hmm. It's summer. All right. I'm a what busy kind man. of stone you you deal with? You buying? 
Maybe. Where do you live? I don't know, Gary. Where do I live? No <laughs> 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 way. I give him roll the a deception of check. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Where do I live? <laughs> I'm going to go with disadvantage until you know where you live. I don't know where I live. Baldur's Gate. <laughs> don't waste my time. And then he's, he kind of like walks back out of the room. Have a good day. And I just look at Ed he, and when I, I, I elbow Fen and I go, the people in this town are just so nice. <laughs> they are. They are. All right, so he's the he's the rock hard man. Perhaps mm-hmm. he should get some of those libido potions. He's probably good. On Perhaps that. he already has. Because it makes it harder, right? The rock is that what it does? You still never really answered the question. I thought I was pretty direct about it, actually. <laughs> you said it makes you hard down there, <laughs> and I said like protection, and you said yes. All right, let's go get a drink. <laughs> Can we go to the? But, sure, uh, I can use juice. Juice, juice box. Uh, yeah. Uh, you tell me where you'd like to go. There's two bars. One you've been to, and I think one you haven't. Yeah, let's go to the other bar. Uh, the other one left a bad taste in my mouth. Well, body. does body? Yeah, but does body have to go somewhere? Body has uh, wandered off. He he mumbled something about uh, speaking to Gideon and went toward in the direction of Alivo's sundries. All right. Well, we'll I'll head to the bar. All right. You guys make your way to the bar, which is <laughs> Is it the Vanda bar? The Swinging Sword. Sword. All right. And Gary, mm-hmm. could uh Felden start doing his or get his familiar start casting that for the morning? Uh yeah. Yeah, you t- do no. do what you want. Yeah. Can't have it can't have it absolutely um okay so i'll just intro the swinging sword and then we'll jump over to to uh down to gideon's all right so on one door north of the all faiths shrine stands the swinging sword the inn is a three-story stone structure crowned by a steep stale roof steep slate roof oh my eyes are so bad that bristles with many chimneys. A signboard juts out over the door, hanging from chains. It's a ten-foot-long carved wooden scimitar, emblazoned with the inn's name in red paint on both sides. And uh, as you walk in, it's 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 rustic. It's um, not as just a, it's not as rough and tumble as the helm at the high sun. Uh, it's, it's just a little nicer. The clientele's a little more laid back. And uh, oh, it's a nice heart. Nice. There's warm draperies, tapestries. There's also running water. You notice that there are several <clears throat> cisterns uh, outside, elevated cisterns, so that there's running water inside this place. Oh, neat. <clears throat> um, that's it. So is guys, there, uh, mm-hmm. uh, Gary, is this, uh... oh my God. I lost my train of thought. I'm sorry. Go on. I'll remember after. All right. Well, let's good. Let's jump back to. Uh, oh boy. So Gideon. So Valavo Sundries. Uh, body, you make your way there. Uh, I approach the door. Is is it open? Closed? Yeah, it's uh, partially open, and you you get the faint scent of uh, fish. <laughs> <laughs> I uh, wrap all on the door frame. Uh, Gideon, Gideon, are you there? Hello. Yeah, buddy. Come here, buddy. <laughs> um, yes. Uh, uh, and I wander in the store. Um, how how are you today, Gideon? I'm doing quite fine. How are you? Oh, good. I slept wonderfully last night. It was a, a and I had a splendid bath this morning. It was great. Excellent. I. News travels fast. I heard about your bath. Oh. And you dry <laughs> yourself off in the open breeze. Oh, my. Um, well, uh, that is the best way to dry. Uh, I have good news for you. Oh, yes. I was able to come across your book. 
Splendid, splendid. I have been looking for this book for ages. Habits of the Bollywolds, is it not? And he butt dusts it off. Ah, that is most excellent, most excellent. I uh, uh, absentmindedly thumb through it and then stick it in my pack. Okay. That is uh, amazing, splendid. I'm so, so thankful you were able to find that. Yes, and it, and it didn't cost very much. Oh, um, uh, perhaps I could reimburse you somewhat? That uh, sort of what we do here. <laughs> oh, uh, of course, of course. Uh, uh, how much? Maybe you have something to trade? Um. Hmm. Let me see. I put my pack down and start rifling through it. Oh, oh, I just, I just picked this up today, actually. It's a potion of invulnerability. Uh, <laughs> it supposedly will only last for a minute, but I haven't had a chance to test it yet. Would you be interested? No, he comes every year. Those are fake. Uh, oh. <laughs> oh, oh my. Um, well. Don't get the um, dick potion either. Those are also fake. Um, uh, with that, uh, he, he just, go ahead, he just un unstoppers it and drinks it right away. Hmm. <laughs> um, well, it doesn't taste too foul. <laughs> yeah, and it's got a nice little, uh, cinnamon, uh, sort of nose to it. So. <laughs> and you get a hard on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but oh. you, you do feel like a little tingly, like, like oh. from the top of your head to the bottom of your toes. It's a very pleasant feeling. Ooh. Oh, this is quite nice, actually. Um, uh, Should we try it? And he pulls out a sword. <laughs> uh, you just told me they were fake. Why would I want to try it? Do you think perhaps it's real? He just shrugged. <laughs> um, uh, why not? Let's try it. No, Jesus Christ. Oh, okay. Where do you want it? <laughs> you can't let the little people alone, man. They're crazy. Uh, uh, maybe maybe somewhere on the leg. I'm not sure. How about here? And he stabs you right in the thigh. Ah! And uh, it hurts so bad. And he pulls the sword out. <laughs> and uh, blood starts squirting out. And then you notice the... Blood stop almost immediately, and the wound close. Oh, that is fascinating. Hmm. Uh, 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 I'm thinking now I perhaps should have studied the ingredient. Maybe I could have uh, deduced its reagents and whatnot, but... Hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, that was worth the, the pain, I think. <laughs> I always, I heard those are fake people with the have been killed and maimed after yeah. drinking those. Well, I guess it's my lucky day. Uh, uh, doubly so with this book, indeed. Yes. Um, I, I'm afraid I don't have anything of much interest on me. Um. Uh, Mm. How about one silver piece? One silver? Are you sh very sure? Yes. Yes. Um. Well, done. Done and done. I hand him a silver. Okay. And uh, he says, I have something to tell you. Would you mind getting a little closer? Not within sword range, of course. But <laughs> <laughs> I move uncomfortably close. <laughs> yes, uh, what, what, uh, should I whisper? Yes, so, uh, our friends, and he, like, raises his eyebrow and nods, like, we, you know what uh, I mean, right? Um, the field mice? <laughs> no. Oh, and he, point, uh, he pulls down his shirt a little bit, points to his necklace. Oh, 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 yes, the, the, Shh. the, yeah. uh, yes. right, right, yes. <laughs> We may have a lead on... Uh, tell me his name again. 
Um, <coughs> Thurl Miroska. Yes. Um, uh, okay. How exciting! This is yes. turning out to be a, a, an amazing day so far. So much like your book, it might take a little more fleshing out, but uh, would you be interested in exploring it a little more? I, I mean, I know you are for, you, for your friends and our friends. Maybe uh, a field a little bit? Um, sure. That sounds good. I, I do so much enjoy a good mystery, and I am quite a good researcher and investigator. So, yes. Excellent, excellent. Well, I'll tell you more about that when news becomes available. And he kind of dusts himself off. Well, I appreciate you coming by. Is there anything else? So, um, uh, I, is, is he, uh, is, is this person, uh, has he done some horrible things? Or uh, is he just uh, <clears throat> perhaps someone that could be an ally? I don't know if he's an ally, but, uh, and the horrible things, we're not quite sure. Uh, I've been told to keep an ear out, and, uh, well, let's just say we're going to keep an eye on the situation. Yeah, well, very good. Thank you very much, Gideon. Of it's course. It's been a pleasure, as always. Yeah, leave the door cracked. The, the dead fish smell uh, just won't go away. Uh, that's, that's a shame. Um, I'll press the digitation and uh, try to perfume the air a little bit. Ah, lemon. Yes, yes. Yes, lemon indeed. <laughs> and I, I, I walk out. <laughs> <laughs> I walk out uh, to search for the others as I don't know where they are now. Okay, okay. Uh, as you do, the boys. The rest of the boys. Uh, we're, yeah, we're at that bar. Where is my nine sheet? Which is very fancy. I've got nine sheets. It's a fancy bar. Okay, swinging sword. Um, okay. So you see a woman, a proprietress, uh, behind the bar. Uh, she's not, like, fancily dressed, but, you know, comely, well-dressed. Not, not, uh, like... Um, not like at the other bar. And, uh, she is just, uh, tending to patrons. They're everywhere. <laughs> That's her. <laughs> hey, uh, just so everybody knows, uh, someone divided up the, the, the loot and you can just go sign that you took it. Oh, your nice. share. Excellent. Good, oh, good, cool. good idea. Just check out your loot and then edit and sign and say you took it and you'll be good. And uh, so the the bartender, the proprietress, uh, she's middle aged woman, pale blue eyes, human. She has wheat hair. She's petite, uh, but fierce. You can tell she's uh, cleaned the bar, and she's not taking shit from any of the customers or her or waiters. And it's very busy. She's somewhat in the weeds. Does everybody want uh, ale? Everybody who's here? Juice, please. Yes, ale for me. All right. <clears throat> I just, I try to navigate through the crowd to get to the bar and just, just four ales and a juice. Mm -hmm. <laughs> juice. Sorry. Something. I, I don't have juice. Water. Mm. There's water in the trough outside. <laughs> and uh she slams the ales down after filling them up she spins around she's like damn it and uh the there's like a cook fire going on and she's like mm -hmm. and it's 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 gone out the room's kind of filling with smoke and you can look in the back and there's like just like a little chimney cook stove and it just the smoke is just coming back into the roof and it just like extinguishes the fire is something stuck in the chimney? Soot. Age. Fuck shit. 
All right. Um, uh, how much? How much for the drinks? Uh, silver for them all. Okay, I I give her two silvers. Mm. Big spender. And she gets Thank you. Does Vanda one notice the smoke coming out? Yeah, you all do. It just kind of like gets into the room, and and you hear people talking. There's like, that's why you can only get food across the street. Mm. I bring the I bring <coughs> the ales back, and I, I look at uh, uh, Bandwin. Um, they don't <clears throat> have. You got to get water outside at the the trough. <laughs> they don't they don't have juice. No. Oh. Okay. Sorry. Do you want to? Do you yeah, want some no. of my ale? No, I don't drink. Okay. All right. Well, sorry. You must have your wits about you. Evil's afoot. <laughs> do I have to get out the book? No, no, understood. <laughs> I, uh, I, uh, I grab a mug off of a table that someone isn't using. Sure. And I uh, go to the cisterns outside and get get fresh water and okay, bring, come back inside. All right. Okay. Just a little bit of slobber in the water, but you're good. Ah. Uh, uh, so Can little body. A... Does the water have body? <laughs> mm -hmm. Body odor. <laughs> Can I take a look around the room just to see the other, or you know, who's filling up the place? Yeah, it's um, mostly out of towners, you suppose. Okay. Everyone's, you know, they're just a little more excited. And they're just here for the festivities, and it's like it's at noon, so it's just packed, and then. Maybe after a little bit of time, Body finds his way back to you guys. And he pokes in some doors, and he does find you at uh, the Swinging Sword. Hey, Body. Hello, friends. Um, what what have we here? We have ale, and ah. I push a uh, pint over to him. Oh, splendid! I down it in one gulp. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> And then after a little bit, I guess the ah. um, the um, crowds sort of thin out a little bit, and and so the 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 mistress, the the bartender, she sort of uh, to, you know, like her hair's up in a bun, little wisps are coming out. She's still red faced, and she's able to just clean up the place a little bit before the next rush comes in. And she comes over. Sorry about before. Can I get you guys anything else? Um, I don't think so. Uh, I would say food, but it doesn't look like your. Uh, no offense, it looks like your kitchen's in a little rough shape. A fucking chimney clogged up. Um, uh, let me go take a look. Maybe there's something stuck up in it. He knows nothing about chimneys. <laughs> How do you know? Knock yourself out. Yeah, I, I appreciate <laughs> that. Is, I is go there over there and I. Evil in the chimney. I go over there and I look up up the chimney. It's from dark inside. as fuck. All right. Uh, I take my sword and poke it up into the chimney. Okay. Um, clank, 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 clank. You hit some, some bricks and you come back down. There's soot all over your sword. All right. So I then go, do you have a ladder to get up top? Uh, all right. I'm back. All right. So you want to chim 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 <laughs> tree? All right. I uh, I uh, go out to the ladder and I climb up to the top and I look down into the chimney. Okay. Dark. It's still black as. Dark <laughs> as fuck. Uh, I would have grabbed a if there was a pole or something. I wouldn't know what Gary's going to use for an ability check for <laughs> fucking Who knows? chimney cleaning. Yeah. Is that nature? Is that? <laughs> so I would. I'm gonna. I'm gonna go grab like a long pole and. Uh, and uh, reach down through the chimney to see if I can, if there's maybe, there's obviously something blocking it if it's, if it's uh, okay. either or the flue is shut or something to that effect. Uh, Cat's curious. Can I look up the chimney? Yeah. It's as I, dark. just as I bang on shit and drop it yeah. all over your face, that's yeah. great. <laughs> yeah. It's really dark. And in fact, your vision ends sooner than you think it would with your dark hmm. vision. Hmm. Wow. 
Okay, I've lost interest. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I'm gonna go knock so, something off the table. Do I hit anything with my ten foot? <laughs> do I hit anything with my ten foot pole? Do you have a ten foot pole? I'm sure there's one around here somewhere, like, like a bill hook or something. <laughs> I don't know. They use it to to to, to move uh, hay and stuff. To you know some. Yeah, you you don't see any ticks. of those. Mm-mm. All right. Then I take out my rope. Oh, okay. And I tie a rock on the end of it. Okay. And I drop the rock down. All right. With the rope. Yeah, it goes down and it just like settles about what you would consider to be about halfway down. All right. Meanwhile, so... inside, so Kalesa sits with the rest of you guys while um, Banwin is up on the roof trying to unclog this this chimney. Ah, buy me a drink, boys. I was waiting for you to ask that. Absolutely. Ah. Yes, and I'll have another ale, please. She like points over to uh, one of the other barmaids, and she brings over a fresh round of drinks. Do you own this place, or are you just? Hi, uh... Kalasa. Nice to meet you. Kalasa, I'm Fen. This is uh, my uh, friend on the roof, who hopefully won't fall. Is uh, Ben? Ah! <laughs> <laughs> he climbs back up. <laughs> uh, it's easier than climbing down the ladder. <laughs> Uh, this is uh, Body Knock. Uh, we also have uh, Hello! Elden, Barrick, and Jasper. Mm, pleasure. As you can see. Friendly. So, very friendly. Ooh, guys, I, I just thought of a joke. What rhymes with 40 foot rope? <laughs> I don't know. She cocks her head back and looks at you. <laughs> Morty uh, Mud Mop. <laughs> what? <laughs> Morty Mud Mop. <laughs> is that is hey. that like novish for something? Well, it rhymes with forty foot rope. That's all. <laughs> hmm. I look at her and I go, "We're we're traveling uh, entertainers." He <laughs> he does comedy. Is that what you call that? <laughs> it's something. So you've traveled the roads. You're not worried about the. The fey, fell magic, the monsters. There's all m- sorts of tales. I assure you, madam, I am quite capable of defending myself. Yes. Then he jumps up on the table and does a twirl. <laughs> uh, <laughs> while brandishing a dagger um, viciously. Um, oh. he, he, doesn't, he doesn't look threatening. <laughs> Ah. I believe you, little one. No offense, of course. Oh, huh. We've He's... all been uh, traveling for quite a while separately. We only kind of came to start traveling together while we've been in town. Ah. Hardly anyone here goes out the hills anymore. No berry picking or hare hunting. They're afraid of monsters and the fell magic. Fogs, they say. In on bright sunlight, gust of cold on warm, warm days. Sudden bolts of lightning stabbing from the sky on clear days. <laughs> I haven't seen any, but, but plenty of people say they have. Yeah, well, we've we've uh, already had a couple of things happen while we in town, and I I give her kind of a, just a really high level overview of you know us the mm-hmm. two kids in the the like the crypt the cemetery and then the uh the necromancer not mm. too much detail but just kind of oh I, I heard that was you uh yeah that was us mm. good on you then. um can you ask someone to just uh yell in the chimney i just want to see how <laughs> my friend bandwin's doing yeah she like she does that like what the fuck over to the like and she like puts her puts the glasses down she holds a torch and tries to kind of look up there and you just see this faint little flick of light bandwin at the, at the bottom mm-hmm. of the uh, chimney and mm-hmm. it, the hole is too small it's maybe like a quarter and it needs to be bigger than that obviously for a, a yeah yeah so can i see what's blocking it yeah just f- filled with soot okay 
So then I just keep throwing the rock down there and pulling it up, throwing the rock down there, pulling okay. it up, throwing the rock down there, pulling it up until it breaks breaks it uh, breaks it through. Okay, you do a, a fair job and make it maybe in a fist size, um, bef- but before your, your your efforts are basically the word. It's just too thick for mm-hmm. that sort of application. Okay, and then back down to you guys. She. Um, She's still maybe a little bit in awe of, you know, the accomplishments. And she's like, I wish you could track down some of these people skipping out on the bills. How much, how much money can you be owed if they're skipping? I mean, oh, don't run this place for free. I know, but I just, I wonder, you know, how much people are charging before you shut them off. Uh, uh, you know, a day or two. What's funny is they they they've skipped out, and some of them have left their things, which is weird. Oh, really? as I come in now, I dusting myself off. A little <laughs> <You're sweaty>. just... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And oh, I, uh, God, you know. Edward. Well, I would have washed out the cisterns and then come back in. Okay. Uh, and then, yeah. <laughs> Filthy. And I'm like, uh, you gotta get a, you gotta get a chimney guy in there and fix that because there's a big block of soot and about halfway up. I tried to break it up. I got a fistful, but it's too hard. I can't do it without tool, with the proper tools, or if someone's small enough to crawl in there. I look over a body knock <laughs> with a chisel and mm-hmm. ten hours worth of time. Ah, uh, I imagine but- that's what it might be. I appreciate it. So, body's um, feeling very good right now, and he just nodding along with almost everything. <laughs> so you say these people left their things, but yes, a, a couple, a couple, most just skip out and leave town, pack their stuff up, like oh, I'll be right back, eh, never come back. But two, two rooms. Uh, Do you mind if we look at the stuff? That's interesting. I've yeah, gone maybe th- we can help. I've you. gone through it all, but sure, help yourself. Knock yourself out. Neat. What kind of people were they? I don't know. Other than not trustworthy. Uh, Yes. Uh, uh, Let's see here. The first group was a a man and a woman. Uh, I thought they were a decent couple, in fact, before they ran out on me. Uh, But they left everything. In fact, even a coin purse. Really? Well, at least they, so they didn't skimp on payment then, because they well, just maybe just didn't have enough to cover the bill with the coin purse. Exactly, exactly. Oh, all right. Well, at least you didn't weren't completely stiffed. But that's interesting. Yeah, I've got their stuff back here. I cleared it out, made room for other guests. Of course. And she shows you she's got a couple of a uh, couple of different, I guess, large sacks full of the stuff that they left. And it seems like everything a person would use on their travels. Um, mm. you poke through it, nothing really, uh, no clues. Well? Oh. Yeah, no, strange. No. Uh... Did they happen to say where they were headed before they left? or Anything of that nature? <clears throat> People like to wander around and head out into the hills. Perhaps they went for a walk and gobbled up by some monster or other. Who knows? Mm. What sort of monsters? I've ran into quite a few in my day. <laughs> she shrugs. Who knows? I'm I'm all of like 21. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you look <laughs> like you experience. Uh, all right. Yeah. Well, that's that's an odd story. Yeah. If it keeps happening, let us know. Sure, sure. I will. Uh, I appreciate you coming by. And she sees a, like, a crowd start to come in. I like your kind in here. It's, it, it definitely helps to have good sort of folk here. So uh, you're welcome back anytime. Yep, sorry I couldn't fix your chimney issue, but a little too over the top. What are you going <laughs> to Yes, from all your chimney experience, Ben. 
Oh, uh, you have you have no idea what I used to do at the monastery. <laughs> that's, that's a good point. I'd be up and down holes all day. <laughs> I was about to make a Catholic joke, but I'm not going to. Um, okay, so you've um, you, you've hung out there. You you've walked around. You saw some vendors. You poked into a couple of the different places in there. Something just seems a little amiss about about the town. There's a couple of things going on. There's you know, maybe people missing, or you know, just it seems weird that people, you know, even two pe- two rooms of people just left and just left their things there. Um, nevertheless, it's midsummer. You're here to have a good time, and but that that thought is just sort of lingering in the back of your minds. Did um, did did anything? In the uh, stuff that was left, catch a body's eye as something Gideon might want or be interested in. Roll a d20. Uh, okay. Um, maybe pick something. Do you have the trinkets in the player's handbook? Uh, yeah. Hold on. What is that, trinkets, a one, trinkets. 100? Trinkets. I think it's, it's in the in character the... background area. Yeah, 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 yeah. I get it. Okay, yeah, just roll whatever the... <clears throat> That's what you find. Ooh. What is it? A blank, a blank book whose pages refuse to hold ink, chalk, graphite, or any other substance or marking. Nice. Okay. Cool, cool. All right. There you go. Empty book. She wouldn't have any cause to know what was in that book if it didn't yeah. obviously hold anything thank you thank you of course of course so and so it's it's getting uh, i mean you started your adventure around noon today and you've been into a lot of shops you had a few drinks you've eaten and uh it's getting dark the sun is starting to come down and the revelry is continuing in earnest <clears throat> and so the there are a lot of places that have uh, closed and there are um, <clears throat> places that they've made like, like little stages and with little um, uh, seating areas around the stages, like kind of like bleachers, I guess, sort of around them with wooden bleachers and uh, for dances. So there are people dancing, having fun. <clears throat> and the, the, the rumor is too, that's on, you know, midsummer is a good night to f- find a companion, to find a, a lifelong love, they say. Um, here it says here, it's it's a time of feasting, music, and love. Acquaintances turn into dalliances, courtships into betrothals. <clears throat> Deities themselves are rumored to take part by ensuring good weather for feasting and frolicking in the woods. Bad weather on the special night is taken as an omen of ill fortune and sometimes interpreted disapproval of the connections made. Uh, so it's going on and the sun is finally descended beneath the horizon and uh, fireflies are out flicking in the night and the younger people are dancing and um, body knocks dancing too. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. He's, he's in it. And uh, people are, are rushing to one part of town uh, in the center of town, they have made just sort of an open air theater, and they've they've constructed it uh, much like the dancing places, but much larger with a stage, curtains, and sort of a, a backstage area. And people are rushing, rushing towards to see it. And you hear people talking, "Oh, it's Oliver, it's Oliver!" And um, the dances sort of conclude, and you hear there's like. They're, they're like naming the, the, the king and queen of Midsummer, sort of in the background, sort of for, your, for younger folks. Um, and as this is going on, people are filling in to uh, this open air theater, if you'd like to join. Yeah, I'll head, to, I'll, I'll head towards there. Body is still dancing. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and will dance his way with the rest of the people. Okay, yeah. Even the people at the dances 
once they've concluded everything, sort of kind of like the event that caps everything off. Uh, they have some, you know, festivities that are for adult and for, you know, some of the younger folk. And then later at night, obviously, people are going to continue getting hammered and, and doing their adult thing while the younger folk uh, go back home. Um, but yeah, the um, the play, as you hear, you p- hear people talking about it before it even airs. And it's about Oliver Tolliver. And um, you, you you hear that he is a handsome rake. And he's apparently famous to these parts. And um, he's a bit overconfident in his abilities. He's been in many scrapes, but usually finds himself on the wrong end of just about every encounter, only to be rescued by his faithful apprentice, Sam. And Oliver, of course, like takes all the credit uh, for the victories, and Sam just kind of shrugs and accepts his fate, happy to help and, and keen to stay out of the spotlight. That's sort of the gist of all of the Oliver Tolliver stories. <clears throat> and uh, so as you settle in and the, the play gets, gets going and proper, the, um, you notice, or, or you realize, you know, the, despite how muggy that or not, I'm, in addition to how they, the day was muggy, the night isn't much better. Uh, as you take in the play. And this particular uh, show recounts the tale where Oliver Tolliver, he's hired by a local lord to rid his hunting woods of goblins that had recently taken up residence there. And Oliver has defeated a few, but invariably found himself in a bit of a pickle. The current scene has the actor playing Oliver in a large cook pot with several of the townsfolk, faces painted green, adding carrots and onions to the stew, or stoking the fire to bring their dinner to temperature. Fighting is heard off stage, and Sam emerges from stage right out of breath. He kills the remaining goblins, frees his master, just as the water starts to boil. Untied, Oliver corrects Sam on a wayward sword thrust and parry he saw and turns to the crowd for his usual, you know, sort of closing monologue and is stopped by a snowflake that flutters from the sky and lands on his nose. You look up to a warm, clear, starry night, but flakes of cold snow begin to touch your face. Flurries. At first, then flakes fall fat and wet. A cold breeze blows from the east, and you find yourselves all of a sudden in the midst of a blowing blizzard. Your companions are shadowed in the blowing white, and you begin to shiver in the now frigid temperatures. You can make out faint running and screaming through the white, and then as quickly as lightning, the snow stops. The wind calms, and the muggy summer air returns, leaving a few inches of melting snow on the ground. Well, that was weird. I do divine sense. Okay. What does that detect? Uh, Undead, fiend, or celestials within 60 feet. Okay. You detect none. Body body is just uh, making notes uh, in his in, in his little notebook, um, and and r- roaming around trying to uh, uh, gather a sample. Yeah, of the snow, he uh, uh, actually pours out one of the flasks of oil and tries to get some snow in there. Okay, all right, you do. It, it melts quickly. It's it's still very balmy. Uh, so you get some get some snow in there. And um, some of the people, the townsfolk, you know, some are crying, some are upset, and some are just like, you know, laughing and like don't know what to think of it. It just happened so fast. It's just a freak of nature. And uh, Fen is just freaked out by the the snow and the cold, and it it's definitely freaked him. And he's just kind of like looking around, like what what the hell. 
Yeah, and everyone is. And, you know, it's just a, a couple of inches, and then, you know, it's just so warm and hot and humid that it's just melting very, very quickly. And, you know, a couple of hours, it's just melted into to, to mush. And people are talking about it. They're less upset after a couple of hours. Uh, the moon has risen high, and um, everyone sort of wanders off. Just, this makes does this I don't think that's supposed to happen <laughs> it's my I guess <laughs> mm-hmm. so you come back and you see uh, Harburg he's got his cleaver in his hand his wife the same way and they're like that can't be good I, yeah. I would agree you'd best get inside Doesn't have to tell me twice. <laughs> All right. Body body will temporarily be cast or uh, occasionally be casting prestidigitation to keep the flask cold. Hmm. Okay. Gotcha. Uh, so Harburg brings you into your and he and he like comes out and he's like oh, and he's like he's got his cleaver put away and he's like he's like pulling his hair back like oh my god. Um. <sighs> this is probably later in the day, and Feldane will catch up with them after being kind of absent. Hey guys, any does that ever happen before? You kidding me? No. If only we had a, a mayor, a governor, a town. What are they? Councils. Just the believers, and who knows who they are. It's strange. What? What do you? What do you mean the believers? Uh, you know the. That's what they call them. The. The town. You know the the, the people who run the shop, the successful, the the rich people. They sometimes yeah. get together in groups and a group and decide how things should be. Do you know where they typically meet? No one does. Where do they live? Who knows who they are, really? But you can start with uh, just the, the, the town folk who... The prosperous ones, that's what I'm trying to say. Well, I haven't seen, I mean, I haven't seen snow and the temperature drop like that since I was in the mountains. Oh, and The mountains of New England? The <laughs> mountains of the spine. Mm. I have noticed Melico acting a little strangely. Have you... Have you had the chance to meet him? No, who was that? I apologize. He was the guy, the uh, uh, Feinstone. Oh. Oh yeah, uh, he was a jerk. We no. yeah, we met him very briefly. No, you didn't. Sorry, <laughs> that was another. Oh, guy. we didn't meet him. Oh, damn it! <laughs> I don't know who he that he was a jerk. <laughs> oh fuck! No, hold on. <laughs> so many NPCs. Ooh. Oh yeah. Uh okay. So he's a neighbor to uh Gelker. Neighbor to Gelker. Oh, God damn. Sorry. There are literally thirty NPCs. Um oh, to Dornan Feinstone. So he's a neighbor and he's just Dornan I guess was sort of uh he's uh, works the samples, and the other guy sort of runs the quarry. Okay. And uh, what was that gentleman's name again? I apologize. The first, the Dornan. Yeah, the first guy. Okay. M- Melico. So you have. Yeah. There's two Melico quarries in this place. Works. No, I think there's there's two. Mm. There's one qu- cure. There's two. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. Sorry, my bad. Oh, so two. yeah, so Dornan, Feinstone, and then Melico is up here. Okay. 
And you know, I've heard tell, I thought it was just drunken rumors, that the, uh, the stone workers, they've seen uh, cr- strange masked creatures at the middle of the night, scared them away from their work. I thought it Why was were just... they working in the middle of the night? <sighs> it's demand. Really? Mm-hmm. Okay. Was that from the North Quarry or the South Quarry? Or the West or East Quarry? I don't know which was which. The masked creatures uh, for both, I hear. Hmm. Ah. You guys want to spend the night in the quarry? Could be a rumor. Who knows? Hmm. I'm sorry, boys. Try not to worry yourselves too much. Tomorrow's shield meet. Yeah, but we just had the temperature drop like 30 degrees in the course of a few minutes, and it starts snowing uh, in blizzard conditions. That's concerning. Yeah, it, it is. And he looks down. Maybe it's a passing thing. Who knows? Mm-hmm. Yeah, maybe. Well, I want to tend to my family. Uh, see you in the morning. Yeah, good eve. Night. Good night, sir. He takes off. Okay. So what would you like to do? You can bed down or you can explore that at night or do what you want to do. Um, well the quarry's nearby. Let's go check it out. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that uh, makes sense. Is is body able to detect anything unique? Uh, at all or about the snow anything magical okay um so in what way <laughs> um it's just mainly to determine whether it was no, natural I mean, event okay event or oh, oh um I, I can do an arcana check or i can ritual cast detect magic um i see okay um uh, you you tell me would you rather uh, detect magic or make an arcana check. Let's start with the arcana check and see what you see. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Well, he's doing the check. Um, I forgot his name. Band? Not Bandwin. Okay. Uh, where is he? Beric. I. Beric, friend. I've been working on these papers all day. I made you a scroll got a scroll of healing word for the emergencies friend <laughs> well thank you nice okay uh, so with your arcana check you detect some sort of um, yeah there's there's something um, unnatural about the snow it's not not a natural force that's about all you can tell with just a okay general check. That works for me. Okay. That was not just a freak storm. I uh, relay my suspicions to any who would listen. Okay. Ah, uh, uh, friends, friends! I I've been studying the snow, and I. I'm quite positive now that the, the, there is there is no natural explanation for that snowstorm. There seems to be uh, some other force driving it. Yeah, I would ag- I would agree with that. I think it's a pretty good assessment. I mean, I've I've never seen like I said, I've never seen anything like that in the um like in the mountains of the spine. That's the only place I've seen that. Ooh, uh, would would uh, body have read about anything like that while being in Candlekeep? Uh, you can make a uh, probably a history check for that. Okay, um, so you would attribute rare occurrences like that to um, just uh, magical occurrences or. Elemental <laughs> irregularities. 
Um, okay. Cool. Okay. So basically elemental magic. You get the idea from going mm. back over your, your prayer readings. It's good. Roll, okay. so. Cool. Okay. So what'd you like to do? Do you want to try to scope out the thing or, or try mm -hmm. to pick it up? I think we're going to, yes, try to scope out the thing tonight. Okay. Yeah, one the, sure. Uh, one of the mines. All right. Which one? North or south? Well, we're we're living at the south one almost, so pretty much. Let's yeah, let's let, yeah. We'll check the north. Thing. Okay. Is there a place I can buy a, a nice wool blanket before we go, just in case that happens again? <laughs> <laughs> too late. It's too late in the day now. <laughs> yeah, nothing. Nothing's open anymore, unfortunately. All right. Well, I'll wrap my rope around me if it gets cold again. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> just I got it. Just, you, have, you have fur all over your body, motherfucker. <laughs> Not enough. It's a cat. Um, okay, so you check out the south one, and uh, mm -hmm. it's it's basically closed for business. And then even if you check out the north one, same thing, but due to just due to the holiday. Is there a fence around it? No, it's very. Well, steep. Then we just go in. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's just uh, there's no one there. There's nothing happening. Mm -hmm. We'll hang out for a bit. Okay. Uh, make a hangout roll. Oh. Where has the day gone? Oh, it's just about to go on. Yeah, where you been? All right, you hang out nicely. <laughs> it's not like when you're hunting and it's just like, God damn, it's so cold. Yeah. I just want to leave. The smell of deer piss on your boots. <laughs> mm. I got to stay out here. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I've gotten excited working on this scroll. I must have gotten away from me. I've been on. I, you know, I start telling <coughs> stories. That I was on this stakeout one time. There was a guy that was fucking cheap. It was awful. We were in the middle of a field, and we caught him. It was the weirdest thing. A small little town. The mayor made the. Made the uh, made the guy pay a dowry to the to the sheep's owner. <laughs> it's the craziest shit, man. Yeah, well, today he was up on a roof cleaning a chimney. <laughs> yeah, I need a cleaning. Mm -hmm. So apparently, that's a service that we offer. Mm, it's a service that I offer when I want to. So, did you clean it? Mm. It was needed more than just me. I just got to get somebody with some tools to get in there. I couldn't do it with the makeshift stuff I found. We had a big hunk of, like, like I don't think she's ever had her chimney cleaned, ever. <laughs> uh, he needed a set of ball bearings and uh, 40 quarts of oil in order to really get it done. More like a probably tear out your the freaking um uh tear out the um the chimney and just rebuild it. Yeah, might be that's how much start it around. All right, you sit for a while and nothing happens. Uh you poke around the other one as well, same thing and and you think it might just have to do with uh just just the the festivities. Yeah, it's probably just a bunch of kids Scaring off the miners, playing yeah. Pokemon. And they're not working because of the holidays. So. That don't make sense. Kids are miners. Federal holidays. <laughs> yeah, kids don't work. I don't understand <laughs> no, what that means. No stone. Um, what kind of quarry is it? Is it granite, marble? I don't know. A mica? <laughs> a mica? It's, a, it's Italian marble. Ooh. Mm. Yeah, it's the good stuff. What's the matter for you, huh? It's just a, just a mud quarry. You like it the sauce? <laughs> yeah. You like it the sauce, huh? The juice. You like it the juice? Yeah, you like it the juice. That's what it is. You like it the juice. The juice is good, no? I get, I get you more juice. I get you more juice. All right. <laughs> so after your juice. You, I'm assuming you're going to sleep sometime at night. Uh, 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 uh. We sleep in here or are we going back to town? Oh no, we're, we're like 
Literally, the barn. I can see the barn from here. Let's just go walk and get to the barn. <laughs> okay. All right. All right. So you bed down. Uh, you wake up the next day, and people are in a little better mood, except for those people who were like engaged on you know, that night uh, due to the ill omen of the bad weather. Mm. Um, Did they freeze together? That's not good. Maybe. <laughs> And um, <clears throat> the the event is sponsored by Valavo Sundries, actually. There's a lot of signs, <laughs> Valavo Sundry signs. Um, and he has graciously um, offered up several of uh, his goods to the event. Yeah, which is Fantastic. why I think when you guys came there the first time around, he didn't have a whole lot of stuff. Uh, but there are several events, and let me let me detail those to you. I have a event to share. So to all players, boom! All right, I'm gonna go pee, and I'll be right back. Oh, beer break. <laughs> ogre caffeine and something to ogre eat. chairs. Twelve chairs. Chained ogre attacks random chair. Last one <laughs> seated wins. <laughs> Archery. Oh, what the <laughs> fuck is that? You're not it may not be a good show, but I'm pretty excited about my Hercules complete DVD set came in. <laughs> Your Hercules. Oh, nice. oh my god. Oh, the, the good <laughs> Hercules too. I like it. I love that show. Kevin Sorbo. Oh, and Aphrodite. And oh, I see. I liked yeah. Andromeda. Oh. I actually liked Andromeda too. And I liked Xena too. Yeah. Who didn't? Xena know? Was right. Yeah, Andromeda was it? Um, trance. Oh man. I'd run away and marry trance. Whew. All those right. shows from my teenage years. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be back. Dude, you can get a dude. Did you see the archery contest? I did. That's you get a bracers I... of archery if you win. I know. I think I might have to do that. Land <laughs> oyster eating contest. <laughs> Them, that's balls, you know. Thank you. It's sheep balls. Gotta clip them high. A tankard of endless ale. Ooh, what is my con? <laughs> a war ride. 16. I've survived a ride on Pee Wee. <laughs> <laughs> Glamorized studded leather armor. Right. Chained oh, ogres. Oh, I'm gonna enter the piggyback joust. All right. Well, you need someone with you, right? Nope. I might do the land oyster eating contest. That would be the one I'd be best at. <laughs> <laughs> Sam. Oh boy. Got a pretty good con. Oh yeah, it is. We need to. Who uh who who else has got is good in athletics? <clears throat> um, it's for a bag of holding, yo. <laughs> oh, did I put the prices there too? Oh, okay. You yeah, did. That's pretty sick. I think I meant to exclude those. Oh, well. Whoop. And a pole of collapsing. Yeah. Oh, and 50 gold. Athletics, I have mm. a plus two. So you wake up. The The young girls are... They're 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 simpering little tears. Sorry, I didn't mean to be dismissive <laughs> about these imaginary girls. Jeez, uh, um, they, they've cleared up, and uh, the day is about challenges, fun events. So they get together in the morning and they discuss sort of um, you know government things typically, but uh, you don't see a lot going on here. And um, it's it's a small town, so I guess whatever happened cleared up early, and the events are well underway. So 
You guys tell me what you want to do. I mean, well, I'll I will do that archery contest. I'll okay. Put up the ten gold. All right, Finn, archery. I want to do the piggyback joust, but I don't have a partner yet. You gotta have a partner. I would think. I mean, none I would of you think guys, none of you body, other guys, body would at probably be good athletics. at it. <laughs> or what? Are, wait, don't we have a we have a cat person? <clears throat> Yeah, but he would be dexterity based, which is not uh, athletics. Yeah, that's... yeah I'm not strength based. I do not have a good athletics at all. What about you, Mr. Dwarf? Beric? Who has a good athletics? I have a plus two, so. I've plus got a two. minus two. <laughs> <laughs> that that's not good. <laughs> I'm thinking about the uh, land oyster eating contest, though. Yeah, you, you can all do the, the, the piggyback joust is the only thing that requires a partner. And anyone, I don't think anyone. I don't think it's Ryan's there. Ryan, Ryan, are you there? Ryan has a zero. Yeah, I'm here. Do you have an athletics? Or? Not very much. Okay. Well, then, Fen, you'd be the only person. Oh wait, so oh, God Jasper God. has a. I was gonna say. Jasper has advantage. He has, yeah, he's got. Uh, oh, you could rage. You would have an advantage on on athletics checks. I was muted. Sorry. Yeah, I have a three athletics. Okay. So you want to do yeah. the piggy pig, piggy pig, jealous with me? Yeah, I'll give it a shot. But I want to try the land oyster eating contest. Yeah, you can do well, that sure. Too. I want to do the arm wrestling. Uh, I suck at the arm wrestling. I just keep imagining the cat talking in Jason's regular voice. <laughs> and it, <laughs> makes me, it makes me laugh so good. Just this giant humanoid cat going, yeah, I'll do that, but I want to eat the, I want to try that eating contest. And... <laughs> what's, what's your plus to attack, Jason? Uh, <laughs> do, do, do. Plus to attack with my strength? Three. Yeah, it says plus plus attack. He has advantage. He's got proficiency in uh, athletics. Though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what I'm saying is, uh, you could be the attack. So, well, yeah, but I could be the, the athletics. Jouster. I could be the mount, and you'd be the jouster, because uh, that's just an attack roll. That's not athletics. So okay. we don't need two people that have athletics. We only need one person with a good attack, and the other person with a. Okay. I mean, my my attack with my long sword is plus six. What's your attack with your weapon? All right. So who was the first Three. one to uh, volunteer to do something? I think when I first came on, I heard Land Oyster. <laughs> yes. <clears throat> okay. Well, let's start there. And body. And body. Okay. Anyone else? Hey, who was the first, first one the art. for archery? What? <laughs> Wait, what? what are we doing? What are we doing? Which one are we doing first? The archery? Uh, let's. Uh, was it archery or land oyster? Was the first? I, I can't recall. I say we do land oyster. I want to see what that's all about. And then I'll do the archery. <laughs> that's body fine. That's like fine. Like all right. So Jasper and Body. Oh. Anyone else? Stuffing nuts in your mouth. <laughs> They're only lightly oh. fried. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, I need to hold, keep my strength okay. for the piggyback joust. Okay. All right. uh, I let's do it. Uh, you know, right, actually, I'll, I'll do this. This is Fen. Fen will do the land oyster. Okay. As well. <laughs> so I'll take That's five. All right. Gold. Okay. So take off five gold. Yep. <clears throat> yep. And, the worst uh, tries in the whole thing. <laughs> all right. I just so, wanted to win something. So each of you. Uh, make a you, so you, you you sit down and uh, they actually tie your hands behind your back. <laughs> <laughs> you sit down. Well, picnic body, table. Body's like gonna body's gonna have a hard time, I think. Actually, <laughs> the, the, the cow testicle is probably bigger than my head. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see. We'll see what happens. Well, you know they they uh, they cook down. <laughs> So everyone roll a, so not everyone, Jasper, Body, and Finn roll a con saves. Starts at two. Make, make, and. Oh. 
A good one. A good hey. one first. <laughs> Damn it. All right. Check, check, check. All right. Not terrible, actually. You, you don't really think about what you're eating. It's just a, a lightly fried bovine product. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, no, uh, body was feeling a little hungover, and he's actually starting to feel better now. So <laughs> yeah, very fatty. <laughs> yeah, it's actually good for you, probably. Um, okay, let's do another round. This will be a four. <laughs> God damn it! Oof. You I mean, made it. Bad. It's only a four. I know, but, but I'm rolling so low. I sure. guess. Well, it's a good, good time to roll low, right? Uh, I guess. A four. That's right. Okay, so it's just like you're getting like these are pretty big. <laughs> <laughs> Couldn't they fry them a little longer? But no. Is that a hair? I think I see a hair. <laughs> <laughs> these are flash fried. I, I think that's just a vein. <laughs> <laughs> What's that? That they look awful juicy. Oh God! <laughs> All right, you tear it apart with your teeth. It's just, it's, it's horrible. All Have right. you ever eaten one of these things? They look Hell awful. No. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead. Round three. Right. Just choke Round those down. Three. Still doing good. This is six. Yeah. Check, check, check. All right. Who? All right. Well, you haven't <laughs> had breakfast yet, so you're still a little hungry. And um, basically, it's like juicy onion rings at this point. <laughs> okay. Let's take another round. This is a, a DC-8. Uh-oh. And your competitors are falling off all alongside of you. And, uh, we'll say it just it ends up with, the, with you three eventually. Nice. Check, check, and check. Sweet. And uh-huh. 10. All right, one more time. One more. Oh! oh. <laughs> <laughs> so. Oh! <laughs> are you? Right. Are you going to finish yours? <laughs> oh! Ah. <Okay>. Good luck. <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> he used to. He's used to having testicles in his mouth. He's constantly licking his own. <laughs> Jasper wins. And so uh, your prize, sir, oh. is a tankard of endless ale. Oh! That's a sweet prize. <laughs> Damn. Nice. All right, cool. Excellent. Good match. Good match. It went to Is the... it good ale? Yeah. <laughs> we'll call it fine dwarvish ale. Oh. Mm. All right. Great. It should have been cat. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's right. I should have. Okay, so this one might be a little harder for me to keep track of, but archery. Anyone else other than Finn? Uh, nope. Can I shoot firebolts? <laughs> 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 then no. I have twenty arrows, but no bow. <laughs> 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 yeah. I could throw them. No, I'm not, I'm not in that one. Okay. Uh, so there's three rounds here. So let's start with the first round, Finn, just to see if you even make it to the second round, because that's not All a right. guarantee. No, it is not. All right. So, um, hang on just a sec. Yes. I want to use So it costs you 10 gold okay. pieces, but you have a chance of winning up to, uh, up to 25 gold. Right. Or right, no, 75, 75 gold. off my desk here. And the braces of archery, and if you win all, if you win everything, I know. that's pretty sick. That's sick. That's I pretty badass. I don't think I'm yeah. gonna be able to do it, but okay. Nice. I we'll think uh, we should we should all do ogre chairs if we can. <laughs> Someone uh, get that? That'd be nice. Okay, archery. So mm-hmm. there are three competitors per round. Um, mm-hmm. They were only able to. <laughs> yeah, it's a rich it's a rich entry fee, really. So it's ten gold. Yep. Okay, so you pony it up. And uh, you get five non magical errors, and you get to choose your target. Huh. Okay. Right. Yeah, and each one has a higher point value. Right. Ooh. How so, many shots does he get? 
He, he gets five. a cast blessed on five. Him. Uh, you could probably do that surreptitiously. Okay. Oh. Before he starts, I'll yeah, make whisper a st- and give him a... Make okay. a st- I'll give you a stealth roll with advantage. <laughs> We're going to be thrown out of town. <laughs> oh. 14. Let me roll his dice. Oh, Jesus. with advantage. You're good. You're good. 14. <laughs> I roll a 2. All right. Look at the actual don't guy. don't uh, I will don't use your sharpshooter. Yeah, no, I know. <laughs> thank you, thank you for that. He destroyed all the targets. <laughs> oh goddamn! I did use it. Hold on. Stupid me. I did use my sharpshooter. Look well, it's, it's, it's still a crit, won't miss. All right. All right. Yeah, you didn't pick a target yet you, either. Yeah, let's start over again. So before right. we before we get going, good. You got to tell me what target you're shooting for. All right, I'm going to shoot for the... I'm going to shoot for the uh, the 100. The 100? Okay, the AC is 11. So yep. just whatever your bow is will, will be... Basically, the armor, armor class, yeah, 11 to hit. Yeah. All right. And then I can add a bless to it, correct? Yes. Yeah, I can roll that for you if you want. All right. So a 12. 14, Ooh. you hit. Oh, you put it on. Wow. No, you didn't. Okay. So you hit. Right, no, so that's, that's, our, that's so our style. four yeah. arrows left. All right. Yeah, your Let's fighting the styles. Here. The other one's going to go for... Okay. He got a 15. Gary, do you want me to play one of the be- one of the other guys? No, nah, I, I got it going on right okay. here. Okay. So and this guy just makes two. So the other guys go. The other two guys go for the fifty target, uh, and they both hit. All right, round two. Two hundred, two hundred. Yeah, go 250. for two hundred. Two fifty. At least one fifty, because I think you'll hit at least fourteen. You're on mute. If you Helps know. if I'm not on mute. Um, <laughs> Yeah, part of me thinks I should go for the the two hundred. Yeah, but um, you know what? I am. I'm gonna try the two hundred. Okay. And uh, roll me up a bless. Oh, yes. Yeah. Seventeen, eighteen. Eighteen. Okay. Wow, nice. Right. So seventeen would have done it anyway. So you got two hundred. Uh, they see you, and uh, they're both gonna try the same. So that's th- you have three hundred points. Where they have fifty so far. Oh, one misses. <laughs> he gets zero points. Oh. Second so. one will do the same, but he'll try for the one fifty. All right, sixteen. Yes, yeah, so he makes. So one fifty. Okay. All right, round three. All right. Um. You know what? I'll go for the uh, I'll go for a one fifty. Okay. Far away. Not gonna kill myself. Mm-hmm. You're way ahead as it is. They'd have to hit a a two fifty. Oh, oh, Jesus! Oh, fucking a. Oh, oh. Wow. Okay. You hit the very center of the one fifty target. <laughs> All right. The second one is way behind, so he's gonna go for the uh, the two fifty. I'm rolling real dice here. Nine plus three, nothing. Okay. And the third one, he will do 200. Miss. Okay. You're way ahead. Well, it's three rounds, right? So I won. Well, it's, it's five. Well, it's five, five rounds shots. and then like three competitions. Oh, okay. I guess. All right. All right. Three so... volleys. You get three volleys. Yeah, these guys have plus three, right, so and then two... the next one goes plus four, and the next one goes plus five. So, all right, got it. All right, so uh, I have two arrows left. Yep. Uh, uh, Just stick with the one fifties. I mean, at this point, they can't catch up. Shoot if them they're both doing totals, the right? You know what? Yeah, I'll, I'll go. With, I'll go with the one fifty again. Okay, you hit. And they're right. desperate, so they're trying for the two fifty. Oh, 18 plus 3 is a hit. Oh, shit. Wow. Okay. Uh, you might have to go for a 200 this time. All right, the uh, third one. 
Ooh, not 20. So no wow. Hit. Wow. Uh, so that, let's see here then. Let's add these up. So I'm at 600. So you're at 600. Yeah. And then 300 beneath you. And then 450 at the bottom. So you got a little competition with the last guy, maybe. Last round. So right. yeah, um, 150 will, will let 150 will seal the deal. You can't get higher than that. He can't beat you. Could tell you. Because 250 plus 450 is only 700, right? He could tell you. Or 600. Yeah. I'm thinking maybe I should. Well, if he misses, two. but if he misses the one, the 150. No, he's got he's got 600. He'll be mm -hmm. 750. What do you guys think the 200? What do you think? Sure, do it up. 200. Crouchers. He might miss his <laughs> shot too, and he'll stuck at 450. All right, let's try it. Wait, wait, what? What? What are we rolling? Oh shit! Oh. Oh. Doesn't matter. Yeah. Fuck. Ouch. The good, the good news, you wouldn't have hit the other one either. So. Or you might have... <laughs> <laughs> the good news. Is... Well, that well, is good. Roll news. the bless. Roll the bless. All right, let's see. <laughs> roll the bless. If it's four, you got fucked. <laughs> Sam. He fell asleep. Uh, I figured it would have. <laughs> it only lasts a minute and it's already been a. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I figured it might have fallen off. <laughs> All, right. All right. Let's. That's yeah, fun. let's. Everybody ought to hurry up. All right. Well, you're hoping they miss their shots. If they miss their shots. The last desperate guy uh, he cracks his bow over his knee and walks off. <laughs> yes. Not sportsmanlike like conduct. <laughs> Uh, the final the guy has a chance. <clears throat> He's going to roll for the 200 and the win. Oh, fuck it. Ooh. Oh. He's not going to get it. Seven we can plus kill three. Him. Ten. Oh, yeah. Nice. Woo! <laughs> All right. So, so 600 to 300 to 450. Finn wins. Finn wins. I kind of just put my bow up to the towards the, like, like the sky. Let the, let the crowd kind of... Get into it. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Oh, they're shouting. That's crazy. In fact, let me turn on some sound. I thought I had this <laughs> one. Yay. You can do it. There we go. That's loud. All right. Um, okay. So that's round one. You have two more rounds if you want to compete for the... You do get 25 gold, though. Well, I get 25 gold per round, right? Yes. So was that... That's yes. the first round. You do oh, that, that was the first? Okay, yeah. sorry. It's 10 gold per round, two to enter. So All right. it's 25 gold. Um, yeah, so... You You've got your money back plus 15, so you're ahead of the game. Yeah, so, I'll, I mean, I'll go to the next round, because okay. really it's the bracers. That Does anyone else want to jump in and do something in between, or? Yeah. There's the That's piggyback. The thing do, the, do, or, do the piggyback in We can do the piggyback. Warg, 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 yes. I think, I think I could ride that warg. Oh, yeah. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah ride the warg. Maybe can't be too bad. Okay. All right, so you, you've seen wargs before, but you've never seen one. This huge. It's twice as big as any And it's trying to, it's like, target. get off me, I hate you. Yeah, it has a huge <laughs> muzzle over its face, but you can still see some of its, like, uh, its teeth and fangs, like, <laughs> poking, poking beneath. It's trying to snap feverishly in the, in the, um, the muzzle that they have for this thing. It's just maybe ill-fitting a little bit and just worn away by its several bites to try to escape it, so... They put you in a stall, and you sit atop the beast. And is there anything you do to, to prep before you ride, Pee-wee? Sit on my hands and grab, grab the reins. Okay. Okay. Uh, Hold my so, ale. <laughs> so go ahead and make a animal handling roll. You bust from the gates. Uh, nice. DC5 right. is what you needed for the first one. 
you're jolting back and forth, and then eventually it tires. You ride the required eight seconds, and uh, you jump off the beast before they corral it back in. He stands with arms in the air, absorbing the claws. Thank you. <laughs> and uh, you see several people standing outside. They've got like their arms in slings and like black eyes. <laughs> They're cheering you on. Uh, Doesn't he? Isn't he still riding it? Isn't it three rolls while he's riding it? Barrick, brother, try yeah. the war. Oh no, that's right. Yeah, sorry. So it was throughout, that's exactly right. So three rolls. So yeah, uh, I appreciate that. So he's okay. he's still yeah. he's still bucking. Um, he gets a little more intense as you cheer to the crowd. I guess. So roll another. And we it's getting oh. more and more pissed, and it yes. started to buck harder and harder. <laughs> I think that's how I meant it when I wrote Kuma it. But now when I read it, <laughs> that was like a couple months ago. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Still, you hang on. You dig your heels in, and uh, that pisses him off even more, and he just bucks even more wildly. And uh, go get the and fuck make, off me. Make Last that. Uh, make that roll. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Oh yeah. All right. You so. tamed the beast. He tumbles off, does a little somersault, and it stands up. Oh. And points to Barrick. Then the, Get on the, here. The, then the warg eats him. Yeah. Oh, that <laughs> looks fun. <laughs> <laughs> and they're like poking him with like, um, you know, hot prods or whatever back into his stall. And you get a, uh, a little neck. It's like a leather uh, strap thong. <laughs> he holds like it a, up like the gold medal. Ah. <laughs> yeah. It's just like a wooden reward that says, I survived a ride on Pee Wee. All right. Anyone else? That look, looks like fun. I should give it a try. Go for it. All I right. think he drank too much ale. <laughs> so, as they're putting you on and strapping you in, they're like, God, you notice that they're like covering their eyes. <laughs> and it's like the shine from the top of your head. From your mouthing, <laughs> it's just like blinding them. And uh, <laughs> Pee Wee also is uh, fronted by your shiny dome. And he takes off out of the gates. So, animal handling, please. Oh. oh. Yes. He's trying to rear back and like knock you with the back of his head, but uh, he can't get to you. All right. Roll another. <laughs> Ten. Yeah, you got it. He tries to reach around and nip at your leg. Oh, last one. Oh! 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 Roll Not a D10. Not only did you fall off, but... Oh, God damn it. Probably the most expensive prize you can get, or the most important one we get in a campaign. That's how much hit point damage you take as he stomps the fuck out of you before he is... <laughs> Also back into his pen. You, sir, do not get a medal. You made it look easy. <laughs> it doesn't say if you win, you get that. You probably just get it for paying the two gold. <laughs> they must have crowded him in right in the gold. The guy's like, he's got like a bucket of a thousand of them. He's like, fuck it, fine. Here, take it. You did technically survive <laughs> right on Pee Wee. Yeah, you're right. not dead. You're not dead. <laughs> fine. God, they even give you one on your. They give you one off. on your coffin when you're they're throwing you in the ground. Coffin, <laughs> what do I care? <laughs> you did great. Let's get the nail. Oh, oh man, you totally had it too, and then you just went flying off. I was like, oh my god, what happened? Is your glove <laughs> still on Pee Wee? <laughs> <laughs> and his pinky. I slipped. Yeah, that's it. Okay. Uh, anyone else? For war riding, no. Okay, so you're walking back through the crowd, <coughs> and you see a woman in the crowd, and she seems to be sort of like taking in the events. And she is uh, a tiefling with black oh. hair, pulled up in a high ponytail. This is the tiefling we saw in our dream. You instantly recognize her as the woman you saw in your dream horns stretching back from her brows that wrap around behind her head before lifting <laughs> up into points. Um, divine sense. Okay. 
nope. Not undead or fiend or celestial. <laughs> that bull got him around. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I love the guy it. totally got what he deserved too. Dumbass. Yeah. <clears throat> oh <laughs> fucking god. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Yeah. At least he didn't get the point. Come at part me, of bro. Horns, right? <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right, you asked for it. Dumbass. Okay. Sorry. Back to the game we're playing. Yeah. So you see that woman walking around, and she's just she's well dressed and uh, seems to be polite walking through the crowd, uh, but watching watching the events. I uh, I keep an eye on her. Okay. Me too. Uh, they call for the piggyback joust. Oh, all right, let's go. I was wanting to do ogre tears. Okay. Is that afterward? <laughs> sure. Yeah. Are, I you, doing, doing, are you doing? Oh, oh, you guys are doing ogre tears. Yeah, yeah, that's that's a good prize. You could sneak one in it. real quick before if you want to, or sure. Okay. Yeah, you guys tell me when you want to do it. Uh, so they're gathering the piggyback joust. You basically, mm -hmm. just like get ready. Uh, but yeah, Ogre yep. Cheers is, is ready to go. Um, okay, so who wants to do Ogre Cheers? Jasper. Feldane puts his name in the hat. I feel lucky today. <laughs> okay. Ooh, yeah. luck. I'm going to hold my lucky rabbit's feet while I do it. Ven <laughs> okay. has his shoulders wrapped with ice like a pitcher. <laughs> <laughs> Sitting this one out, guys. Got a game later. Okay. <laughs> Can anyone fill the chairs? Are, are are you hurt? Just resting up. I walk over to uh it's a barrack and I uh pat him on the shoulder and I give him a cure light wounds. Okay. You look like you took quite the hit there, buddy. Nice ride. That was a minor scratch. Yeah. Better All get right. that looked at. So the, the chairs fill up, but only halfway because of what it is. <laughs> There's 12 chairs. But then when, when they see that they've only filled up half of them, they remove the other chairs. And so you sit down in the chair. And um, it's basically the last one seated wins. So um, an ogre who is blindfolded is walked into and he's laughing as if he knows the people and uh he has a bit of a tree uh, <laughs> <laughs> thank you that was good and uh he like pounds the ground and you can feel it like in your chest like a like at a like at a concert that bass in your chest that's the same thing mm. possibly killed <laughs> <That's that part. laughs> <laughs> And uh, so they take the blindfold off, and he growls before he starts swinging. All right, so, okay, so he swings. We'll start at the top. Jasper, make a deck save, please. Deck save. I'm just going to roll here because it's, it's much easier for me. 19 plus 6. Oh, crap. Okay. Oh. Oh, I didn't. I didn't write the damage down here. Let's see, if struck. If struck, strength save uh -huh. versus damage. Hold on, I gotta find my damage here. I clicked it. I was waiting for it to pop up. Hey, yeah, oh, shoot. Oh, two damage. I'm out. That's two d six. So huh. possible. Oh, <laughs> okay. Uh, or be knocked. Okay, so you are knocked out of your chair. Damn it. Yes. So we tie. How much damage? Uh, seven. Two. Oh, 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 that one felt furry. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, Feldane. Well, Dane will hold his holy symbol of Saloon. Oh, Saloon, guide me and misguide that ogre for me. 
He's going to cast Bless on himself. Damn, Rabbit's Feet were worth it. <laughs> oh, wait. So. Sorry. Rabbit's Feet. Use the good one? I was holding both of them. <laughs> so let's go back. Sorry, let me retcon that. I don't think, I don't think Jasper that. technically knows which one is the lucky uh, one and which one isn't. Yeah, so the lucky one actually gives you one use of the luck roll, so you can re-roll. Cool. Uh, okay. Do, 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 do. It was a uh, strength one, yeah? I said that. Yeah. All right, let's re-roll the strength one and see what happens. Ah, son of a bitch. What? <laughs> Jeez. Oh. <laughs> 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 Uh, the good rabbit uh, foot disintegrates in your hand. Use that. Yeah. I uh, I throw the other one at the ogre. <laughs> <laughs> it's in his eyelash. It's worth five silver. <laughs> uh, all right. I should cast bless. Sorry. Uh, what comes first? Deck save? Oh, uh, yes. 16. All right, let me roll here. 18. 18 plus 6. Damn. Dang. All right. Strength save. Strength save. Yeah. Oh. You were knocked out of the chair. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. Okay. Wow. The glamour studded leather armor. Good. Well, let's see if anyone else survives. Take the 10 gold off. There's the eight versus the ogre roll. That one's knocked out. Uh, next guy's roll, 18 versus the ogre roll. Yeah, okay. So somebody else walks away with that glamour studded armor. Mm -hmm. Sorry. Well done, well done. All right. So they're rousting up the jousters. Um, God damn, I got shit everywhere. Okay. <laughs> so many notes. Give me a sec here. Oh, there it is. Okay. All right. Um, yeah, this one's a little more complicated. All right. So, Joster. So, who? Who is the? Um, who's the mount and who's the Joster? You can use any of your attack rolls. Or does it have to be strength attack roll? Let's see what I, I, see. Let's see what I wrote. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, um, body knock will be the mount. <laughs> Just kidding. Attack rolls. So it would have to be a melee attack roll. Okay. Okay. Works for me. Okay. I got a plus five to my best melee attack roll. So I have Feldane and Jasper. Is that not right? No. No. I mean, I could if he needs it. That was Bandwin. Oh, yeah. my bad. Cool. Looks like too much skill for me. So, Bandwin and Jasper. Yeah. What's it, What's your uh, my next Bandwin? I could possibly do it as well. Is Sean even there? Sean, what's up? Yeah, on? I'm here. Sorry. Oh. What's your athletics? What? My athletics is plus six. Yeah, yeah, you'd be the uh, mount. On the mount, yep. All right, let's <clears> see here. So we're going now? Yeah. All right. Okay. Uh, well, hang on a sec. So, and, uh, so the jouster is... Jasper. Jasper. Okay. Jasper okay. the jouster. Got it. Yeah. Okay. Um, okay, so... You have a broomstick in your hand, Jasper. Mm -hmm. As does your opponent. Uh, so you add the three rolls. Okay, three athletics rolls by the opponent versus the opponent. The mount. Okay. Yeah. So my uh, by the mount. So I'm the mount. I rolled my first athletic check. <clears throat> and then. Okay. Gotcha. Hold on a second. Three rolls. He runs more fast. Okay, grants to the jouster. Okay, uh, all right, um, all right. So, a roll. You roll three of those, actually. I see. Okay. Oh <laughs> Christ! Two. Okay. Let's add those up for me, please, and thank you. 
So fifty nine or so f uh, forty nine. You win. Sixty two. Uh, Sixty two. You won. Okay. So you have advantage uh, on your attack. Um, he grabs your he grabs your thighs and just wraps them around himself. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, it's just like just like one beast. And the other guy just like you can see with just two like, backs. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that was uh what was that? A beast with two backs? Shakespeare. Yeah, Shakespeare. <laughs> yeah. Uh. Um so anyway, sorry, you confused. It got me discombobulated. Yeah. So, uh -huh. so, so he, he they got you excited, Gary. Any little thoughts there? I was an English major. So, so mm -hmm. he, he pulls his mask down and uh, he charges you. Uh, you have advantage on the attack, so the jouster, go ahead and make uh, an attack roll. Hiya. Yeah. Plus six. You have advantage. Twenty-two. Just, just advantage. Okay. What am I going to roll? What well, says attack roll plus six to see if struck? Oh, that's that's you do an attack roll plus six to see if he strikes us? Yes. Uh, okay. Three plus six. So well. you knock him off. Yeah. Okay. All right. So that is just this one. Round. I got you, Jasper. We'll just charge and run them all down. All right. There are a couple of other rounds. and People are defeated. And uh, let's say round two comes around. So go ahead and. Make those three athletic rolls again, please. Band one. Oh, oh God. <laughs> 40, 60 nice. seconds. Um, I don't think I can roll that high. One. <laughs> one. Two. <laughs> nine. Okay, you have advantage again. I'm like running into people and bucking and hitting them so they're like off balance. 25. Cut crit. Oh, oh, yeah! Ah! <laughs> I crit. Start, I start like... Versus 14. You know, uh, yes. Pretending to be a bull instead of a horse and I start kicking my... <laughs> I start dragging my foot on the ground and kicking the dirt. dirt. My next roll is going to be a 2. I just fucking know. Yeah, it. this is where we fuck it up. <laughs> This is where you mm -hmm. fuck it up. No, yeah. you're you're you have to get a new uh, lance after this one. It just it just shatters on impact. Nice it propels him just like ten feet off of the source, awesome. back on the ground. I throw the I throw the bristle part of the broom into the crowd for for the audience. <laughs> yes, souvenir. Your lance. Um, yeah. Okay. Uh, next and final round. It's for the big one. Right. So a few rounds go through again. Some time passes, and final round. Hell yeah. Well, not as good, but it's still pretty 51. good. Tell me that. What's the grand total? 51. 51. I have been rolling. Sh Maybe 24, I should use this 25. real dice. I'm sorry. 50. 50. Even. It's just 50 even. Oh, 50. Okay. Nine. Fucking math. Uh, plus six. So 15. All right. Here we go. One. No. Yeah. Five, <laughs> one. I can't. I can't get there. 20. 26. 1. Carry the... Ooh, he has advantage. Yeah. All right. 61. Jason, this is where you got to pull it off, man. I'm going to roll another crit. Mm. I will try. All right. <sighs> Do I have anything that can help me with this? No. Her rabbit's foot is burn up. Yeah. <laughs> well, I didn't notice what it did. <laughs> I'll go buy a bunch more. <laughs> Fifteen. Oh boy! Told you this is where we fuck it. No, yeah, or I fuck it. A, you don't have advantage anymore. Oh, oh I didn't. Oh, because he got more. Okay, so nine. Yeah. So this guy nine. gets advantage. So, oh, you are knocked from your horse. Hmm. Ugh. Damn. It's a double elimination. <laughs> In fact, it is. Nice. How did you know? <laughs> All right, so one out versus two out. All right, could be final round. Let's go. All right, let's see. One, two, three. Not bad, not bad, not right. bad. Give me some, uh, math. Give me some figures. Give me some yep. numbers. Uh, so it's thir uh, 34. 34. 54. No, it's more than that. No. That's no, 31 right. million. Yeah, you're right. 54. Yeah, 
six total minus off the 60. So yeah. my metal dice. 64. All right, here we go. Nine plus 15. Is 24. It's 12, 17. Ooh, here we go. One. Motherfucker. Yeah! What a key! Woo! All right. So, he's done after this, and uh, you, you burst him from his horse, and uh, he is no... Uh, he is no Jason's got to roll his attack roll. Oh, that's true. Go ahead. Oh, Would you sorry. say uh, anything? <laughs> <laughs> you had advantage. You roll the same goddamn thing. You suck. I mean, I've done this like my second time today. Mm -hmm. All right. So you clash into each other. <laughs> Nothing happens. Nothing happens. All right. Do ever. All right. So two All to right. one still. You still have the advantage. So go ahead and roll. All right. One, two, three. Oh. Ah, uh, 52. Mm -hmm. I need another piece of paper here. Um, one. God damn it. Plus six is seven. If, if, they, below, if they roll below a ten, they can't win. Two. Yeah. Because it, uh, it doesn't matter. So. Because you could. So you have. Uh, well, I guess you could still so win. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The advantage again. Let's go, Jasper. Yeah, Dismount them. <sighs> God damn it. Oh, damn. damn it. All right, here's my attack roll. 17. Oh, damn. All right, two versus two. All right. Sudden death. Right. Overtime. Here's yes. where I roll back. You guys get uh, oh. a, a, a moment's break. You get a thigh rub. 60. And uh, new brooms. Everyone gets new brooms. 60. 60 for uh, me. I'm doing all the work Ooh, here. Shit. I'm sweating up a storm. You're not. <laughs> Apparently you can't. If, if you did the war grind, you would have been tossed off that motherfucker. Probably. I'm the war, bitch. Yeah. <laughs> He's holding you That's on. That's because he didn't read the book. <laughs> <That's> right. <laughs> All right. Here we go. 11. So that's a 17. Mm -hmm. Oh, wait. Deck saves. It shouldn't be that much. I was miscalculating. Was no. Why would it be deck saves? It's not deck saves. Three oh, athletics. versus attack roll. Deck save versus attack rolls. That's mm -hmm. right. So we're, we roll an attack that's, roll, they roll a deck save. That's yeah. ogre chairs. Oh, that's ogre chairs, yeah. Oh, right. Three, three oh. athletics rolls. Yeah. Okay. You know, still adding too much. Yeah, the highest hits the unseated jouster. Okay. 59. Oh, we got you by oh, one, oh. buddy. Wow. Yeah. It's so close. We were button heads. We're like chewing on each other. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you have advantage. So, just away. Have advantage. You're both like bruised as fuck too, bleeding, bloody nose. Uh, I I'm used to Busted it. I love lips. this. This is like my normal day of training. Mm. This is what the monastery. This is what they did to me at the monastery. 22. Oh, Ooh. yeah, baby. Right. Beat that. Don't beat that, please. Don't beat that. I nice. rolled a one. Yeah. Woo. Natural one. I uh, I throw Jasper off me into the air. <laughs> I land Guess what? on my feet. <laughs> yes, that's what I was going to say. Because that's what kitties do. <laughs> 22 to throw him up in the air. Nice. Nice. Okay. You win. The crowd goes wild. <laughs> Flowers are thrown at you. Hang I high-five Jason, and I get, like, five little stab marks in my hand. Yeah. Ow! Your fucking claws, man. <laughs> Thank you. All right. And you collect your prize. Bag of holding, pole of collapsing, and 50 GP. Woo. Awesome. Yeah. Sure so we each get 20. Pieces. Oh, no, we each had to pay 10, right? So we each get, uh, we each get 15 gold back. Okay, back to Finn. He's 
Finn is sort of melded back to the archery range and is watching his competitors. And um, it is <sighs> your turn. All right. So they've narrowed several people down, and it's you. And this is round two of three. Okay, got it. Got All it. right. Uh, I will take a shot at the 100. Okay. Okay, AC 11. Start off. Oh. Miss. Okay, you miss. Zero points. All right. Number one will try the 50. The 20. Hits. Number two will do the same with the 50. A three misses. All right, round two. All right. Um, I'll go for the 150. Okay. AC 14. You hit. All right. Down. Nice. All right. Uh, number two, we'll go ahead for the 100. Okay. 11, 14, he hits. You guys are tied. Yep. Uh, the second will go for the third, or the other guy will go for the 150 to tie it up. He hits with a 14. Three-way tie. Three-way tie. All right. Um, I will go for the 200. Oh, Yeah. <laughs> Shit, I should have gone for two fifty. Seventeen, yes. Okay, you hit. Alright. The other guy looks well, have... like Are you fucking kidding me? Well um, you have plus eight, so you'll What's roll that mathematically? To... You need to roll twelve or better to hit the two fifty. I think you're better off with the AC seventeen because that's a nine or better. Mm, and that's... He hits the one fifty. Plus, plus six. So he's actually. Oh, plus eight. Oh, you guys are tied. Okay, so he, he hit the two hundred as well. He did. No, he hit the okay. one fifty. So he's oh, so he, less. so he is three hundred because I'm at three fifty after that. Yes, that's right. And he's at three. Mm-hmm. Three hundred. Okay, and then third guy misses completely with a three. All right, so he's at one fifty still. Okay. Plus three, so it still miss. All right, round four. All right, uh, round four, I will go with the uh, – I'll go with the 150. Okay. Okay, you hit. Cool. He will so go for the 200. Now. He'll go for the 200. Oh, nat 20. Fuck. So Tied he's up. at 500. Yeah, you guys yep. are both at 500. Damn it. Last guy. No three. This guy sucks. <laughs> okay. Yeah, he just breaks his bow and walks off. <laughs> okay, Finn. Do you have any magic or do you have any sort of special anything? This is no. the last one. <laughs> I'd. I don't have anything. So Any friends or family? Um, so like well, friend. everybody used the. I think they used their bless on the last one, so I don't, don't think anybody has any bless spells. So, if okay. that's the case, then I don't I have bless today. So you guys are tied yeah. up. What would you like to do? Um, go for the two hundred. No, that seems crazy. Uh, <laughs> go for the 200 it's yeah. a nine or better on your die yeah no. real quick while he's deciding did the tiefling girl see the uh, jousting tournament nice alright um, you know what I'll go for the 150 
Okay. And I'll, uh, I'll, uh, <laughs> put the pressure on him. I can tell. She oh! <laughs> oh! Fuck. Wow. You got the 150. <sighs> now he's got to go for there. the 200 or try and tie. All right. 650. Is this fourth round or fifth this round? This is it. This is the fifth round. So he's got to go with the 200 or he or he's he got, yeah. can't win. No, he's got uh, 200. He's got they're 500. Tied. Yeah, yeah we're tied. both tied. So he, in tied. order to win, he has to he has to get the two hundred or the two fifty. Or otherwise, they have to or they split, right? Or you can take the split. He's gonna go. He looks at you up and down, and uh, he's gonna try to go for the tie, maybe to bring in the extra innings. Does he look like? Does he look like he's in a stork costume? <laughs> <laughs> no. So AC fourteen, real dice, a five. He fails. Oh. With the eight. Yes. So he gets zero. The other guy is out of competition. All right. You move on to the final round. Does anyone else want to do anything else? Uh, to the arm, arm wrestling. So we, So I win another two, 25 gold, right? You do, sir. But you and then I have to put 10, 10 up. Right. Yep. So I another, win another 15. Okay. Got it. Yes, sir. All right. Or ogre chairs, Who's... you can do ogre chairs. That that was fun. I choose not to do ogre chairs, <laughs> <laughs> but I will try uh, arm wrestling the blacksmith. It's just one round only, but uh, that, that was so much fun to me. That it could be more than one. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, so Grom Ironhead, you know him. You met him. Oh, oh. Ah, knew you would be back. How's the belly? Much better, thank you. And yeah, he, I'm glad. He pulls his shirt up and he like, he yeah, like presses yeah. where the uh, knot was coming out. Yeah, look at, see, I told you, you had a little thing there. I sealed it up. You're good. High five. And he's just like. High five. <laughs> we do that. No, we do that. No, we don't do a high five. We, we, we do that where you, uh, we kind of clasp hands and we flex like Rocky and uh, and Rocky and uh, Apollo Creed, you know, when they, when they clasp hands and our muscles are all flexed and veins are popping out. (laughs) Yeah, let's do this. Okay. I like it. I like it. Oh, that's the scene right there. Yeah. He did it. Yeah. That one. That's what we do. It's in the gifts. We'll see here. (laughs) Yeah. There you go. From predator. Guys, Jack. Yeah, from Predator. Okay. That's what it was from. Well. I don't know. I this is, uh, this... Take it easy on you. I would be. No, I you. want. Uh, yeah, I don't want you. I don't want you to take it easy on me. This is fun. I might be a little. I might be a little tired from the uh, piggyback joust, though. So. You did it. Who cares? Yeah, you? it was all. Awesome. Yeah, we won. No, you... I carried. I carried uh, my buddy. Which one? Yeah, we won. It was awesome. No, which which who is the Jasper? The kit the kitty. Oh, Jasper. Yeah. All he right. kicked their ass. It was great. Good, Good fight though. I'm glad for you. Yeah. Now I'm gonna beat you like a redheaded stepchild. <laughs> <laughs> I welcome it, my friend. I welcome it. Let's go. He puts his elbow down. Uh go ahead and make an athletics check. Uh, I'll roll these the, uh, Not GM. Okay. So he has a plus 10. Oh. Oh, 14. Oh, uh, just barely beats me. <laughs> yes. He's, he strains a little bit. Put you down. <laughs> Who's next? I'd like to go Dane. again. <laughs> Fell Dane will be like, I feel lucky today. Let's try your luck. No. Uh, All right. right. Good Good job. Good job. We do the same handshake again. <laughs> oh, I'll try to pull out my muscles. Um, okay. Well, we use left hands. <laughs> Boy Scout handshake. That's right. Um, okay. Feldane. Go ahead and roll you a athletics get check. He tries to get the crowd worked out. Uh, 
Oh, a 16 you got to be. Oh! <laughs> wow. See, Bandwin, it's all about geometry. You got to get the right angles, get the leverage. Yeah, so he was like looking over the crowd. He was actually pointing to like somebody up in the crowd when you pinned him. Oh, I was distracted. <laughs> you went fair and square. He thanked the money. Pushes it to you. Uh, yeah. I'm on the plus side for the day. And he opens up a small little, just like a lockbox. And it's just like full of gold. Whoa. Send your friends. Not those strong ones. <laughs> Who's next? None of you? And he looks at you. All of you. <laughs> I'll be Playing again. I'll go again. All right. One more time. I'm getting tired. All, All right, right. Roll it up. Athletics. Uh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Phil Dane chuckles so hard he almost falls <laughs> over. <laughs> that little fellow nah. is stronger than you. I don't get it. it doesn't make sense. No, he's not. I, he didn't do the piggyback jump. Oh, that was man. That was a that was that was a lot. That was a long <laughs> bunch of running around. A little tired. Sounds like excuses. Yeah. <laughs> next time. Next time. Mm -hmm. Good. Good job. Yeah. I, I don't know, but uh, maybe you could use this. What's that? This uh, this gauntlets gaunt of ogre strength. This gauntlet. <laughs> <I have. laughs> yeah, I could totally use it. And uh, that's exactly what it was. Shut nice. up! Nice. <laughs> what? I, uh, I. Awesome. It sometimes work, sometimes it doesn't. Really? Yeah, it's a strange. Cool. I used it with. Uh, I I've grown stronger than that, so I don't need. Oh, it. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. No. Not to yeah, brag, I nice. don't want to be a dick, but I'm just saying. No, no, I I, I admire physique. I hope to one day aspire to that level of greatness. That's why I fixed your your belly there, because you looked like you were. Too you much. Know. Too much deadlift is no good for the belly. Yeah. Uh, I if I can't use it, I'm sure one of my group can in the, in the adventures that we do. I Fair appreciate enough. it. You come back and to the me. fight you, against evil. You look for rap, and you come to me only then. Yes, absolutely. All right. Thank you, my friend. Take care. And uh, yeah, he, gra he graces you with uh, gauntlets of ogre strength. Nice. All right. They only got ten ghosts. He got arm. What? <laughs> I got I got magic items worth mm. like twenty times that or more. <laughs> uh, All for archer, ten gold. Still up for, uh... Yeah, I'm gonna join now yeah. to the archery contest. Clamor studded armor was pretty good too, but you guys didn't. Make it yeah, through. he blew it. Blew it. <laughs> um. Okay. Well, I guess Finn. We'll wrap it up here. All right. Last round. All right. Um, <clears throat> I'll go for uh, I'll go for the one fifty. Mm -hmm. Start us off. Chase, I don't have a use for the pole. Oh, you yes. want to hold on to it? <laughs> sure. <laughs> yeah, and I'll just carry the I'll carry the 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 All bag. Right. Okay. And if we if we ever score our separate weights, we can decide who gets what. This All is right. Plus, this is a uh, plus two. Mm -hmm. Oh, he makes. So he does the 150 as well. Phil Dane is going to try and sneak a bless onto him if he wants. Yeah. <laughs> <I guess. laughs> oh, he catches the wink from him. Okay. So he he steps back. He's not going to be right up in his the other face guy? this time. He, he misses. I th like the last guy is terrible. Um. Okay. This is the finale. So, Finn, it's your turn. You pick. Which target? All right. Um, I'll go with the 200. Mm. Um, Last slot. So you shoot over the other targets. <laughs> what was that? 
You shoot over the other targets back towards the 200. Sure. Um, well, why can't he shoot through the targets? <laughs> <laughs> Try it that way. All right. So, oh, 16, 18. Uh, but you're blessed. Okay. That's with the blast. Yeah. All right. You make it. Cheater. You got it. <laughs> All right. Your buddy. Oh, also with the 200. Damn. He looks at you and he just like the two fingers to the eyes and two fingers to you. Like, yeah, I got you, bro. <laughs> I got it. I got it. Third guy. Nope. He's <laughs> just a dick. <laughs> I just want that third guy to know I was rooting for him. Oh, <laughs> um, all right, I'm gonna hit the. I'm gonna go for the 200 again. Okay. Shit. Yes. Fuck. Mm -mm. Oh. oh. You yeah. miss. You get a big fat zero. Uh, all right. Uh, he will look at you and just try the 200 as well. This is how it's done, fella. Mm. <sighs> he misses as well. Exactly. <laughs> that That is how it's done. Curses and spit in the dirt. The other guy will try the 250. <laughs> Zero. I want All that right. guy to come back and win if I do. <laughs> <laughs> All right. It's up to you. Right. Um, Tied. 350 versus 350 versus zero. All right. I will go for the... Yeah. I'll go for the 200 again. Okay. Fuck! Ugh. Damn. Zero. He will do the same. <sighs> Fucking A. And look He's at you. He's gonna hit it. Nope. Whew. <laughs> Cuss and spit in the dirt. Uh, he'll go for 250, the final guy. DC 20 plus 2. Oh, he hits! What did he go for? The 200? Wow. So you got 350 versus 350 versus 250. This is the final round. Final shot. All right. Go big or go home, Chris. You're insane. I've just missed like three in a row. So the odds are that you're not going to. Odds are to. good. Odds are good. <sighs> He's missed two. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I'm not. That AC 20 scares the shit out. Um, this is why I don't gamble. Uh, all right. <laughs> right. <laughs> hey, do you're not it, losing anything other than it, 10 fictional do goals. It, do it. All right. Um, oh, fuck. All right. Uh, you know what? No, I'm, I'm just going to do the two. I'm going to do the 200. 200. Okay. I'll stick with that. You hit. Nice. You would have got that. You would have got it. You would have got the twenty. Okay. I, I know. I get it. You got to go with your gut. <sighs> He's gonna go <laughs> two fifty for the win. <gasps> oh, here it comes. Natural twenty. Oh, they no cough. Oh, oh, he, oh he misses. He misses. Well, last guy. He's gonna go for the two fifty. Two fifty. Yeah, it doesn't matter. He fails anyway. He can't meet you. He gets zero. So you win. You nice. sure win. Yeah. Another 25 gold, less the 10 and trophy, <clears throat> and yes. bracers of archery. Woo! Sweet. Hold the braces up to the crowd. Nod to the two guys, especially the one who was fucking with. Well, no, he could have cheated and went. He, he saw that you missed your two, the the 200. He could have went lower and, and just cheese you out right yeah but he didn't so he played pretty honorable you shot at what you shot at so yeah that's why i'm giving him a nod i'm not yeah, yeah. oh i thought you said cheated. i cheated yeah. <laughs> sure you did you cheat. i'm a cheating cheat. motherfucker you didn't you didn't need it really though and then yeah, so kinda did. <laughs> you hear the, the applause everyone cheers because uh, it was amazing it was just uh, it's sort of like the penultimate event uh the archery and everyone sort of after the other events they've kind of 
wind it down. And so everyone in Red Large is watching the archery event. And the, the applause goes on, and then after the applause... You see one person clapping still, and it's the a red-skinned tiefling. So uh, good. Well, thank you. I I didn't done. have the dream, right? No, I don't. I wasn't. So I I'm just nodding and being like, yeah, great, thank you. <laughs> really appreciate it. <laughs> what about the rest of you? I gather with Fen, eyeing her suspiciously, <laughs> with my people's my people's eyebrow. Yeah. Well Me done too. with your straw targets. <laughs> Thanks, Sam. Well, what did she say? Uh, Thank you. Well done with your straw targets. Yeah, your fucking straw targets. See, yeah, that was funny. <laughs> <laughs> and she grins, and you can see like two of her teeth, or or like her her canine teeth, are just extra long and sharp and pointy. Mm. 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 <laughs> <laughs> How you doing? Body knock will uh, try to surreptitiously circle around behind her. Well, I mean, Make that's... That... Check with move through, move, just <laughs> like... move through the crowd. Uh, nice. With disadvantage, you said? Yeah. That's never butt. <laughs> I mean, that, that was the contest that hit straw targets. I, I mm. mean... She eyes you the entire way. All right. Where are you going, little one? Um, I, I was... There's some more ale over this way. I think... Uh, then I stumble towards uh, the bar. <laughs> okay. Yeah, she... Um... She steps sort of away from you and then up onto uh, a little platform. Well done. She's still clapping, like, obnoxiously, uh, sarcastically. Like your little town. I hate to see it brought to ruin. Hmm. What does that mean? I don't know. Just one concerned citizen, much like the rest. Why, why would anyone actually ever say that? Unless they plan for something to happen in the town. And she just smiles. Like another people's eyebrow. <laughs> She's... <laughs> She, uh, she smiles and looks at you and gives you a an eyebrow that's fit with a horn that wraps around her head to a point. Well, I guess we'll just have to see, won't we? And she vanishes in a puff of brimstone. What? Do you, do you want to ale? Where'd she go? I, I know a bad, a bad egg when I see one, and that's one of the baddest. What do you mean? She was just, you know, I don't know. Body. She, was, she just threatened the town. Were you Body. listening? Right, but she was impressing. She was impressed with me. Did you see how <laughs> no. long she was clapping? <laughs> no. <laughs> but no. Body, Body wants to try and grab her tail at, at, right as she's disappearing. You're grabbing her ass? That's just. <laughs> you should have really asked consent before you. Make an impossible roll. Okay. <laughs> an impossible roll. <laughs> That's All great. Right. All right. Sounds good. <laughs> <laughs> uh, unfortunately you don't grab her tail <laughs> uh, she vanishes. with the group uh, anybody you uh, want a high strength who doesn't uh, well I mean do you want to use these hell yeah here you go and much like the much like the town before when they were they got over the weird apocalyptic snowfall earlier. You know, she's gone, she's not doing anything, just like they forget it pretty quickly. They're a little leery of what she said and and everything, but just it kinda goes back to normal pretty quickly. Huh. 
So those are gauntlets of ogre power there. They are. Jason. Gauntlets of ogre power. <laughs> star. Makes your strength makes your strength nineteen. Just drag them onto your sheet and it'll change your Yeah, strength. I got it. Mm. Put a star on those. Star? Mm. Mm -hmm. Cause they only work sometimes. That's there right. we go. Asterisk. There we go. Unfortunately, it would only make me go from 18 to 19, and that's no benefit. So, mm. Mm. But I knew someone in the party could use them. Sometimes. Humble brag. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. just, I'm just so swell already. Yeah. It's just My shirt's it's really awesome. being cumbersome. I don't like it. I need to get swole. Um, so does anybody know who she was? Like, because I didn't have the dream. Hot. I don't know who. Yes. <laughs> Uh, probably e evil. Why would you say? I mean, I get that. Kind of just makes her hotter. Huh? <laughs> you think she would like skooma? <laughs> I do think she would like sense. skooma. Everybody loves skooma. Did Did anyone catch her name? That's what I forgot to do. No, you didn't. Oh. All right, I'll turn off the villagers. They're probably not excited anymore. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we won all their events. Well, as everyone. I know. It looks like we're ringers. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, Ogre Yeah, we're law enforcement. <laughs> yeah, Ogre Chairs sucked. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was fantastic. I'm just saying. Yeah, yeah. Body didn't participate because he figured he would just die. <laughs> oh, that guy's CGI'd. Yeah. It's from Free Guy. It's it's not a bad movie. It's pretty good. From Free Guy? Yeah. Ryan, no, Ryan Reynolds? Not, that's not Ryan Reynolds. Well, that's not Ryan Reynolds, but that's from Free Guy. It was the dude that like, punched him or something. Oh, was that the dude? That's the dude that they superimposed his face onto? Yeah, I think so. Well, maybe not. No, because uh, if you look at his left hand when it goes across his thigh, it's distorts a little bit. I think I think they buffed them up a little bit more. That's the that's the steroids. Yeah, it's somebody else maybe. Oh, clearly. <laughs> Cuz I'm like there's that's no way. That guy's way right, too fucking obviously. big. No, that's the, that that's the Yeah, gear, that's the guy. Gear gear gear. <laughs> <laughs> Boom. <laughs> Boom. All right, boys, I'm going to shut it off. I appreciate your participation. That was pretty fun. Uh, yeah, it was cool. So I have no work tomorrow because of the snowstorm, Chris. Why don't you have work? Thank it's not you. Because my my op, my off the office is closed because of the snowstorm coming. Oh, uh, I I have work. No 